to the top right. Okay. And we are live. All right. The moment everybody's been waiting for, the game of the year, Sonic Frontiers. Oh, no. <laughs> Sonic, is that even a game? All right. What's up? Is Sonic Frontiers actually a game? That's the, yeah, no, it just, dude, literally. It, we'll go for a balanced the, the, game. The, the boneheaded decision-making of that company, I swear to God, it is sandwiched between Call of Duty and God of War. Great planning. That sounds a lot like a Sonic game. <laughs> What's up? So I had to interrupt the stream for a couple seconds because I realized that I never showed Alex my new work keychain to my coworker. Ooh! Copy. Is it a gnome? No. <laughs> it's actually a special bedazzled gnome sitting on Ooh. a sliced lime. Is it a bedazzled gnome? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. There was a whole of the camera. Wow. Yeah, yeah, right up in the. Ooh, that's beautiful. Wow. This is oh. my work keychain. He's got an ice cream cone. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> just, like, yeah, why don't you just teabag him with it? Oh, God. Well, thank you, Nadia. Not that mean, but I had to share the love. Thanks. But at least you know that every time I see it, I have to laugh because I know you hate it. Yeah, I get that. That's why everybody likes it. <laughs> well, I mean, Alex, you... At least I wasn't giving you a note. I'm still keeping my promise. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 you're welcome to keep it. I, mean. <laughs> I have to, so I can locate my keys. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it, it, it makes sense for you, Alex, because you've recently made a troubling discovery here? about gnomes. Yeah, I know, that was devastating. What's going on here? Dude? He's just kind of waiting. He's just sulking. Is this actually the game, or...? That sounds kind of weird. So I don't need to do anything? Yeah, I got like this kind of... Yeah, it, okay, dippy, you guys are also hearing dippy, that? Dippy, yeah. Yep. Did it glitch? Maybe? Yeah, because I, I mean like none of my actions Maybe are making any difference whatsoever. Uh, I have a feeling it crashed. Because... Yeah, that can happen with those titles on launch sometimes. Yeah... I don't know how long this has actually been out. Quit. Well, at least we didn't have to start restart the stream. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> For once. Okay. That's kind of feeling like this New game. But you're saving over our progress. No. <laughs> we hadn't even stood up yet. <laughs> yeah, right. But look at all this progress we're making. Okay, okay yeah, something's we're actually totally happening. Yeah, yeah, something's actually happening. Okay. Now. Yeah. Where's your switch? My switch? Oh, it's uh, the die. It's it right there on the on top of the blue bin. Yeah, you're looking right at it. GameCube. Oh, okay, GameCube right. controller. Dude, I don't have my glasses on. That's my only defense. Oh, careful! You're hitting the wire. Well, sorry to interrupt the stream, everybody. Yeah, okay. No, you're fine. It just cut out for a second. <laughs> that HDMI so are... cable is not snug as stuck as it could be. No, That's okay. all. HDMI cable's not a man. <laughs> Can't fill that slot. <laughs> that is a male to male. Yeah, you need to get. That's a gay cable. You need to get a real cable, say. Your HDMI's male to male. Male to male. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, you know, the. Oh, it like docks. Yeah, I guess yeah. it kind of docks. Yeah, yeah so yeah. it's got like okay. an opening. So yeah. it's an opening. Yeah, it's docking. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah record yeah, really. <laughs> Because it goes inside, okay, but then the, that goes the, inside. If you're the dock E, you should be as big as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you get the pumps for it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Whatever's necessary, you know. It's probably like the most dramatic game that we do this over here. <laughs> I mean, he's just carving some incense sticks right now. Yeah. I think those are arrows. <laughs> you imagine Kratos lighting incense in this game. Like, mm, I like the cinnamon flavor. <laughs> Is that sorry, not flavor? <laughs> 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 it's on it. There's cinnamon incense sticks? That's brilliant. I like that idea. You eat them, burn them, do whatever you want. Yeah. If you're going to Feltro, you stick them up your pussy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fuse. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the mic. Well, here we are, guys. Five, well, five years later, if you played this when it came yep. out. God of like War, Ragnarok. Yeah, let's rock them. Let's rock them rags. <laughs> this is very subpar for forgetting it. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. 
Uh, just another day in Minnesota. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> dude. The fact that this game came out when then within a week it snubbed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, this just this, yeah. This looks like a park nearby. Yep. Puppies, dead deer. Yep. Yep. Looking looking awfully Minnesota. <laughs> got hit Puppies by a, and dead deer. Yeah. Got hit by a semi. <laughs> <laughs> it just needs the trees need to be swarming with shitty little squirrels though. The shit squirrels didn't go inside yet? No, they never do. Man, damn those shit squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> Just shitting freely all across the streets. I mean, that is what they do, man. Think the squirrel. Squirrels definitely are not real. They're not picky. About they're not real? Know. No, I said they're, they're like not birds? real picky. Well, you said they were real. No, I said they weren't. They're not real picky about like where they. No, take, there was there was like shits. a long no. pause there. Like it, it, it seemed like it was a pyramid. Like you were concluding just, your statement. I, no, the illusory squirrels. <laughs> squirrels, they're in your mind. You've lost your own nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you put the nuts there. Oh, <laughs> so it was like a kid in the matrix, like instead of a spoon, he's holding a whole squirrel. <laughs> It's like, there is no squirrel. <laughs> Bend yeah. the squirrel, Neo. Those are fast puppies. So, yeah, there's big wolves. Like, I mean, I don't know if they'd... I don't know if they're, like, dire wolf level, but... I feel like their big, legs are kind of short, though. <laughs> they're stumpy wolves. Yeah, they're stumpy like, uh, wolves. what do they What do they call those cats? Munchkins? Yeah, they're like yeah. Munchkin. They're munchkin. They're munchkin, they're munchkin wolves. wolves. Are we going to see Fenrir and he's just a giant munchkin? <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Just so really funny. close to the ground like a wiener dog. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dog show of, of doom coming to eat the world. <laughs> just dog with eight legs. <laughs> you imagine a dog with those legs eating Odin. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I can't <laughs> not imagine it. Yeah, no, a little wiener dog. No, like I'm not definitely dog. seeing that in my I'm head. Not, I'm not even picturing a wolf with little legs. I'm honestly just picturing a, an actual dachshund eating Odin. I think oh, we've just shit. improved Norse mythology. Oh. Hey, bird bitch, get off my sled. We're I trying mean, to I did a rod this bitch. Kid. Yeah, she's still pissy about her stupid Yeah, but nobody liked stuff. your kid. You <laughs> didn't even like she her liked her kid. kid. Yeah, she didn't like her, but she liked him. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's not a very good parent. She's like one of those parents, like showing up to gotta like look at their kid through the glass and be like, "You didn't mean to murder thirty-five people." <laughs> <laughs> She kind of, she was, she kind of was that. Yeah. He's a good yeah. boy. I mean, I, you know, she. I mean, to be fair, she also is the one who kind of psychologically fucked him up to begin with. <laughs> like I said, not a good parent. Yeah. Well, that's always, is a bad that's always where those type of parents come from. Yeah. Hey. Norse mythology. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All those bad parents come from Norse mythology. <laughs> I mean, you're. I mean, completely honest, right? Like. I mean, there aren't very many good parents in Greek mythology, mythology period. For <laughs> yeah, parents, in, in just in general. Yeah. Ra's pretty loving to all of his children in Egyptian mythology. Nice. Or at least they respect him and like think of him as good. Yeah, maybe, I suppose. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh, he's, I wouldn't be surprised if he's got some evil shit that he's done. I mean, yeah, <laughs> probably. Sure, there's stuff I don't know. I want, to, I want Kratos to just pull a Harrison get off my sled. <laughs> No, I'm playing retarded. No, I she ain't playing around. No, she really. Ooh, no, that was just pure incompetence on my part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you probably do. I kept on hitting L one, and then I was like, oh wait, some of these are R one. <laughs> <laughs> It is it is the it is funny to watch people that don't play any video games yeah. to like look down at the buttons <laughs> like oh, just, like, yeah. all, like constant not just every once in a while or like so you get a, like a feel for it right. but, like it's just like they cannot go thirty seconds without looking at the controller. Shit, right. yeah, you should just watch me play. No, I, I, just, I kept on like... button mashing L one, <laughs> but then I was like, oh, it's L one R one. Oh, ouch! Oh, was I you supposed gotta, to defend myself one. from this? Ah, uh, no, I think okay, that, I was, gonna say, that was going in. I, the fuck can I do about that? I didn't get any quick time of it. Shouldn't have looked. Nope. Oh, there you go. Jump fucking off. 
Bye, bitch. <laughs> you should have just flipped her off. <laughs> oh, damn. I hate Kratos. The hills he doesn't have the meat to get him to. That's true. Well, I mean, if, if it was a Zol Kratos, he would have gotten off the sled and he would have, like, cut her into pieces. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's true. Would have found some excuse to carry her head around in his belt. Yeah, Kratos. It's by kind the, of his thing. Yeah, Kratos by the time of, like, like, like three in particular is just, I mean. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I, you can't blame him. I mean, everybody in that game had it coming, pretty much. They did. Well, plus, like, because... How, how familiar are you, are you with like the like smaller details of the stories, and, like the smaller moments? And stuff, Relatively, like, kind of, oh, no, like yeah. I couldn't tell you everything that happened, but I know some of it. Now, the, the, the other question: Do you know like anything about the two uh, the, the two smaller games that were on like the PSP? Nope. Those are those are great, mm. uh, and the, the first one of those two actually in particular is one of the ones like that actually shows Kratos. Like, like actually doing like like great good mm -hmm. in the name of the gods. Still, like like pre even the first game, uh -huh. um, and like like that's the one that probably is the most humanizing in the old series. It's it's because like you've got him getting oh into Elysium, mm -hmm. right, and then having to abandon the, his dead daughter in Elysium. Oh. Uh, to stop Atlas from destroying the pillar that like holds up the world, and then Kratos chains him to the world. Mm -hmm. That's how you get Atlas, right? Doing his classic thing. And then the the other one, uh, you find uh, his brother, who is like taken for you see like flashbacks of them as like young Spartans too. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, it's uh, Morpheus and Thanatos. That like like take him when they're kids, and then like poison him, turn him, and, and, and so they fuck with that. Then you find his like sick sick mother, uh, who's been like trapped in like a log cabin for like forty years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zeus has just been tormenting in a cabin for like just to do it. Like his anger, <laughs> like you get where he's coming from. <laughs> he always says hello. You, you you genuinely you do get where he's coming okay, from boy. in those games. He takes it too far, but... Oh, they just have Fenrir? I guess so. Oh, that's a tiny puppy. Fenrir only got four legs, though. What's okay. up with that? <laughs> well, Fenrir's only got four legs. The horses ain't got eight legs. Oh, I, horse yeah. eight legs. I do not remember the name of the horse. I don't remember. Right? It's really long, too. Mm. It's, like a weird, it's like one of the oh, longer okay. like, Norse names. Mm. I'll look it up. Okay. You probably have to pronounce it like you're the goddamn Swedish chef. <laughs> Big? Oh no, slept near. Oh, okay. Okay, that's actually not oh, as weird okay. as I thought. Yeah, slept near. Slept near. There you go. Oh, boy. Doesn't have stumpy legs though, so I'm unhappy. <laughs> they got the they got Norse mythology wrong, guys. It's not impossible. That, no, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just getting us wrong. <laughs> For what? He's still eating. He wants to live. He's dying. Are they going to track down Odin and feed him to the so <laughs> You know, a lot of games open with the with the kill on the dog. Yeah, this is like the John Wick of video games. <laughs> well, like, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Usually I mean, save shit, that. That waited twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Usually save that for the end of the movie. I'm I'm assuming he's not going to be perma dead. 
I mean, it's he's got to eat Odin, right? Yeah. I, I mean, mean he's just gonna have. They're gonna go down to the fucking like pound and pick up another one. And go, oh, this is Fenrir too. <laughs> like the Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, dogs do have souls. Oh, 21 grams. I'm in the sky. <laughs> so does Norse mythology have a version of dog heaven? Um, in Norse mythology, all souls... So, so human souls and... What? Yeah, like, so, yeah, human souls go to either uh, uh, Helheim oh. or Valhalla and... Everything else, I believe, all goes to. Uh, it's it's like a literal like lake of souls okay. that's in Alfheim, the, the, the elf realm. I believe that. that yeah, it's it's, okay. it's, a, it's like a lake of souls where. We I think we saw it in the first one. We can't in the last one. What happens to the ones that are like white light? Do they go oh, anywhere? Okay. Or they stuck uh, there? Or... I think yeah, I think they're just kind of stuck there in a like a soul yeah. vortex. Or is mm -hmm. a, a term uh, that Mortal Kombat coined a soul NATO. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good sequel, to Shark NATO. Soul NATO. Yeah. <laughs> I just I do I love how with with how much seriousness that they say it too. <laughs> like Raiden now. comes up and seriously, like, we have to stop <laughs> Shang Tsung's mm -hmm. soul NATO. <laughs> it's a, just totally straight delivery. You don't want to find out who Loki is. Allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. Do you think I he'll grow up to look like Tom Hiddleston? Uh, I, I, you know what? I, I, I something tells me no. <laughs> you think he'll grow up to look like Vitas? Wait, who? I'm sorry. The, the weird Russian singer. Oh, God, oh, I, God, 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 I, I hope not. I hope not. That one that rolls is. Al uh, rolls his bees or whatever, like blah. blah, 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 blah. And then he got really fat. Did he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I haven't seen him be really yeah. fat. Does he oh, still he wear can... that weird head dress? Well, he's not a musician anymore. He, he's no. nobody liked him after he got fat. Mm. Huh. Well, his most popular, like he was most popular in China, right? Yeah. And so, I mean, yeah, I so that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they, they're not a fan of the the Buddha bot over there, dude. It's only okay for the gods to get that big. Like, <laughs> I think it used to be okay in ancient times. You know. Oh yeah, it's, mm -hmm. well, it's, it's just uh, like all cultures, just the yeah. ideals change. Yeah. Like in 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 uh, in, uh, in like ancient Vikings and shit, it was like the way that Thor's like big, beefy, fat character. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to look. Mm -hmm. back yeah, yeah, that was totally the ideal. <laughs> I mean, all those world's strongest yeah. men are also right. kind of right. chunky, like yeah. It's yeah. Just yeah. being yeah. a big yeah. dude. Care to tell me what went wrong? Wolf's gone. Oh no, not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Is he still just a head, or does he have shoulders now? No, that's just a head. It's like they, a, they like must a have him on some kind of no, pedestal, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, put a Could phone book like, under made him. Like a, made like a little tricycle type thing for him to be on so he can just kind of roll around. What, like the saw puppet? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it would just be a little head and he'd just like use the tongue to steer or whatever. I mean... <laughs> Or like uh, when Sid made that weird spider thing in yeah. Toy Story, just like, perfect. <laughs> I feel like there's an engineering uh... modern marvels. <laughs> Come on, man! Like the fucking ancient aliens taught me they had that stuff from the Viking ages. So yeah, well, I mean, hey, you know, today on how it's <laughs> today on how it's made, disembodied head spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hello. Yeah, somebody's mad that we're not hanging up at the door. Oh, okay. She'll be back. She always comes back. Why should I do this? <laughs> not gonna lie, in the dark, Kratos kind of looks like a clown. He <laughs> 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 Yeah, he's the he's the the first Juggalo. Oh <laughs> God. <laughs> Ancient Aliens Juggalo Edition. <laughs> How do magnets work? 
Did the Vikings have Juggalos? <laughs> <laughs> Did the Viking Juggalo find a Stargate? <laughs> and should astronaut theorists say yes? Who's that? I don't know. Are you ready? That's... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, Which also that has... Uh, you can see uh, you can see it in your face uh, if you look. That is... Um, uh, she call us grumbles? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's, um, uh, what's her name? She, uh, Deborah Ann Wool. She played, uh, Karen in the Daredevil. What did you just say? Deborah Ann Wool. Yeah, what does that mean? It's, it just sounds like a bunch of noises. <laughs> De- yeah, like, come on. <laughs> what did you say? Deborah Ann Wool. You've heard, it's, it's a name. Deborah Ann, like, like you tried to say character? Deborah, dude? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> <you're trying to laughs> I'm pretty sure Deborah Ann Wool is just like a Star Trek character. No, there's a there's a Deborah is the na- it's a na- it's the name of a Godzilla monster actually. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's spelled the same way. So she's one of those, she, is like she that. from one of those countries that pronounces Deborah wrong? No, I think she does say Deborah. I just I I know the Godzilla monster, so I always say it that oh, way, okay. whether, whether that's right or not. Fair enough. Uh, but is she did, talking to this crack? Don't. No, it's. Oh. But you gotta try to fill that crap. (laughs) There's a wolf. Oh, okay. He found his way inside. But no, uh, uh, she played Karen in the Daredevil series. She was a Karen in Daredevil? She played the character Karen. How about about, about Karen in South Park, though? Oh, well, that, I mean, that's just unmatched Karen. (laughs) She doesn't look like a giant. Well, not all giants are actually giant. Right? Well, they shouldn't call themselves giants. They should just call themselves like normies or something. <laughs> normies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a mythological it's a, normie. <laughs> it's uh, that's a species. They're just a, they're a race. Some of them are some of them are actually giant, but all right. not all of them are. Sounds I mean, confusing. that's why Loki is. I mean, he's only half, but yeah. Like Loki makes. I it. mean, how were you expecting Kratos to get with like an actual? I don't know. He's climbed all over giants before. <laughs> yeah, but not like that. <laughs> it could have been one of the mini pigs. <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> it oh, would have no. been it in three. <laughs> oh, oh man! See, I, I don't Could know. you imagine that quick time event? <laughs> Well, what, you gotta climb up. Just, like, just viciously using him as a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd have to crawl up the I think he'd be the one who's doing the, the vicious using, personally. Well, but if she's actually a giant, I mean, she's just grabbing him and doing that. Well, I think he'd be, I think she'd be into it if he climbed all the way up to her and was like having to like you know like get in oh, inside. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I feel like that's a little more Assassin Creed mechanics than God of War. Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> yeah. And there is much to do. Oh no, now he looks like Gorbachev. Mother, mother, <laughs> it's the gold hat of Sodom. Brother? <laughs> I had this cool dream where I gave my wife a log. And then she gave me a mustard stain. <laughs> Where's Atreus? Hence my bellowing. He never came back from Betty and the Wolf. It's been some oh, time. good. <laughs> it cannot be far. I'm surprised they still have a door and him just punch through it. They burned the last one. They? They, yeah. uh, I don't think it, the door got destroyed. It was, it was the only part of the house that didn't. It was like. Well, ba- the fight with Balder didn't actually go into the house itself, but they like destroyed because there's. They like, went through the house. Well, no, they went through this part where it's like. Yeah. This, this they went through the roof of this side where oh, it goes okay. straight to the ground. But this is like a vestibule they, for storing like really? firewood and stuff. Yeah, well, and we've jumped ahead three years too. They've they repaired it. Did you? What on earth for? All right, all right. Put that dead wolf down. Let's go fight. <laughs> Let's go train in the backyard. I mean, you gotta have a hobby. I mean, well, he he meant well by trying to distract him, but I don't think it was the good timing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Man, why set those up if that's how you train with them? <laughs> oh, <it's> just fuck. <laughs> I'm pissed. No, no, like wood swords or like prop weapons, so you don't just destroy them. <laughs> Might as well just start chopping down trees. <laughs> This is not well, that's how the first game started. That's true. Either. Fourth game. Uh, it is always easy to just think of this as like a new series altogether sometimes. Yeah. But first game in second trilogy. Right. Uh, it is the eighth game overall, though. Yeah, that's true. This is, this is now this is a venerable games. series. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like the fact that they were able to reinvent it as so well. I mean, and this, like, this, I, it's, this, this and Elden Ring are like, it's between those two for like game of the year this year and I think this I, I think I'd put this over just because it has the like great presentation right what do you think you're gonna get from us by coming up here I think she always does attention I think she's giving us attention because if we give her or if she gives us attention we'll feed her I think her thought process it's hard to tell with them use your words brother I, I always trust uh, when they come and uh, and try and, and want like pets and snuggles after eating mm. more than I trust it right before. Who the fuck are these guys? These are just, these are just like actual like humans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I figured. That was a, like one complaint. That, I mean, it didn't totally bother me. Uh, mm -hmm. But like one complaint people did have, uh, one of the only com like kind of criticisms of the last game was a bit of a lack of enemy variety. Yeah, we're kind sure. of fighting joggers most pretty almost the whole game, mm -hmm. um, and then there were like a few instances uh, where you, you know there was there, there were the nightmares that floated, and there were yeah, the hell the hell the hell yeah. zombie things when you went to Helheim and the elves and, the, and there and there were also the elves. Um, so I, like, I didn't I didn't think it was like a, a bad number necessarily. I didn't think it was, but, but it, I mean it maybe isn't like massive. Um, I know some of the old God of Wars, that's a pretty crazy, uh... We, yeah, they, you, there's there's a lot of enemy types in the old games, and they mix and match them and do some really yeah. good Kinda stuff. interesting stuff, yeah. This, this one um, ups the number of, like, enemy types type? of things okay. that you can fight a lot. Cool. Like, there's a lot more different things in this one. They didn't drop anything, huh? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's almost like uh, they like they heard that and were like, all right, and then they like Went ran with the it. criticism. Cool. I mean, that's good. Well, yeah, yeah cool. no, they 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 listened to it. and They were like, you know what? We can do better Explains on that. That's the kind of thing you want from game developers. Res, uh, Resident Evil did the same thing because uh, that's that was one of the big criticisms of Seven was that now that game I more so understand that criticism yeah. for because that really did have a lack of enemy variety. Mm -hmm. Either like, the the family members and just some generic bullshit zombies. Yeah, the like mold zombies were yeah. like there was yeah, they, yeah. there was only a couple different kinds and they they were all you know yeah they, they repeated throughout the whole thing. Village had you know vampires, werewolves, gargoyles, Santa, was it Santa, Santa, Annabelle, uh, <laughs> uh, big tits. big tits, yeah, big yeah yeah, lady, <laughs> you make. You remember when they put out like an entire press release just about what her shoe size was? Yeah, they knew what they, they were riling oh, yeah. up the internet yeah. on purpose. Oh like, yeah, they accuses me of hiding from Odin. What was her, her shoe size anyway? Asking for a friend. Oh, <laughs> it was. Um, <laughs> I mean, it was big. It was. It was. I don't. I don't remember, but it was. It was. It was big. They were. There was some fan service for the Vore community. <laughs> well, it's funny because they even. They talked. They talked about that. That being like surprised by just how much people like Which, not were into that character. Yeah. Um, just how like much of a mark that that made. But that was. I mean, yeah, that was. That honestly, that's one of the more iconic like monsters in a game. Yeah. Yeah. In quite some time was her. Well, hey, now that uh, Silent Hill's coming back, we might get some more. Yeah, yeah, I, I hope so. I hope so. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, man, you're. I mean, you're three Silent Hill games. I, I, I guess we'll see how long it will be. I think the the the, the remake's coming pretty quick, and the other two, I think, are still a, a number of years away. Right. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm curious about Silent Hill. See what happens, but 
though we have seen things that defy explanation. So, speaking as the smartest man alive, I have no bloody idea. Who are these assholes anyway? Looks like, uh, is that elf? Dark elf? Or is that just a That's dude? That's another just a dude. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's just a dude. Just the a helmet, dude. the helmet just kind of... Throws you. Yeah. Well, it looks like, it, it does look like those dark elf yeah. the helmets. The horns Yeah. Stuff. Not that people can't have that, but... Yeah, who are these random druids? I ran their random druids. <laughs> Why are they fucking with Kratos? I mean, they're just in the woods. Yeah, great. Okay. That's enough of a reason for Kratos to take him out. Right? Well, if they're attacking Kratos, though. Not I think that's true. They are. They're violent. Um, I mean, they're raiders, but they're, you know, thieves. Um, I'm sure they don't see him and know. Please. Yeah, I know, you know, they, they, I don't think they're like, oh, that guy. Let's go fuck with that guy who did these <laughs> things. You know, this one's <laughs> like, I thought, I'm sure like, they like, killed an like, entire pantheon, but we can take him. <laughs> that guy might have money. Yeah, I'm assuming that's probably most of their thought process. <laughs> or, or they're like, hey, we could eat that guy. Yeah, they might be cannibals. Yeah, that's true. Hello, you were just so desperately asking for attention until I pick you up. <laughs> And now you're like, no, let me go. That's most cats. Cats are natural contrarians. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is this person that trying bitch. to do? She, that's like a rat. It's like a... Like Where a, are yeah, you? Like the, uh, a slinging thing. Get out of here, she bitch. She kind of stood there and got smacked around. There we go. Oh, okay. She does have a range. You can just there. hold that and have like a shield. But you, uh, they they totally updated the shield mechanics of this game too, okay. and have like a really good parry like that. No, oh, okay. but the shield bad. That was pretty sweet. And Get out uh, of here, bitch. And uh, now you can like upgrade and like add attachments to the shield. To the shield, Because like, okay. in the last game you could do that cool. with the weapons, but not the shield. Yeah. This one right. totally <laughs> makes sense. The shield itself is a weapon, though. Yeah. What, he actually opened it? The big ones the he opened. The stone ones he always opens. Yeah, the, the big, big, like, it's the wooden ones that okay. he just goes head first into. <laughs> I, I don't know, I would have enjoyed him just fucking, like, Torches. using his forehead to and smash open that stone sarcophagus. <laughs> we know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. He, does, he doesn't beat up as many gods, so he takes out his anger on boxes. Yep. That's not going to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, or you can make noise. Stealth is not Kratos' thing. No, no. I cannot imagine them nope. ever doing like I don't even think he's capable of stealth. <laughs> like some Hitman sequences. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so, like, Hitman is already kind of ridiculous. Like, you know, or, like, you know, there's a goofiness to, like, that dude is, like, six and a half feet tall. With, with a bar a bar yeah, yeah. Bald, no eyebrows. Mm -hmm. with a bar Wait, does he have eyebrows? No, I think he has eyebrows. But, uh, yeah, bald with a barcode on the back of his head. It's, like, the most noticeable man on Earth. And, like, almost like the eye, like the blue eyes of, like, a husky dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's... He's a, he's a, he's a, he stands out. Kratos would honestly be better at fitting into that, too. <laughs> but now I do kind of want to see Kratos with the barcode on the back of his head. Mm -hmm. sure there's a toy somewhere in it. <laughs> they just they misprinted. Some bootleg <laughs> Chinese toy where it's a combination of Hitman and God of War. That or, would be hilarious. Or where they just accidentally put the barcode on the back of his head instead of the box. <laughs> or they don't want to pay for the box, so they just put the barcode on the back of his head. <laughs> I still think, I mean, I, you know, not that they'll ever do it, but I still think that, like, I mean, well, they, they have a little bit. Like, Nintendo started to kind of, they did branch out to a lot of third-party stuff in the last Smash Bros. game, because, like, mm -hmm. at a certain points, like, how many more, like, you have to, to, to keep, just to be even to be able to keep adding stuff. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I still, I still think that, like, you know, the only place you could really go from where the last one was, was if you, you know, you figured something out, and it's like, you know, the companies were able to at least allow that collaboration mm -hmm. to just bar to borrow characters from. Because mm -hmm. it's happened with Microsoft. There's like two. There's two Microsoft characters. 
In the last game, in the uh, Banjo Kazooie. Oh yeah. Yeah. And the Minecraft thing. Oh. Those were both. Those were both Microsoft like own things. Uh, so like, it happened with one company, but Sony's I feel like a lot more apprehensive to do that kind of cross development stuff. But like, that's not my my point being. Kratos versus Hitman could be a thing yeah. if Sony played ball with Nintendo <laughs> for it to do. What the hell would a Hitman move set be in that game? Uh, well, they did it with Solid Snake, and they it worked pretty well. I don't know. I feel like Solid Snake makes a bit more sense. He does. But I, I think they could. I mean, like in particular, the most recent trilogy of Hitman games, like. It was those. Those are like, I think those are the best ones they've ever done. Right? Right. Like truly iconic stuff. And I, I think uh, I would do it kind of almost. I mean, you know, you, you, there's a few characters that are like almost yeah. using the, like an you. environment in certain ways, like Duck Hunt, the Duck Hunt Dog, mm -hmm. or the Minecraft character. Like they're playing. Me. So like I'm thinking, oh, another like, one of these it would be like, yeah, oh, they might just be, of these chicks. What the you hell? know, kind of uh, materializing into the into the scene, so he, for the sake of him having moves. But like, here's some ridiculous ways you can assassinate people, and then I think it'd be hilarious if you just gave him like a like almost like a Mary Poppins pocket of like crazy assassination tools. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say give him a Mary Poppins umbrella. <laughs> I mean, he'd kill someone with that, too. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> just, just walk up behind someone and, like, clip the back of their jacket to it. Yeah, and it's a little off that way. Yeah, it's off into the sky. I'd watch that. Let's see, that's great. Hides the body for you, too. Hey, there you go. That honest, that's honestly a great idea. But no, I mean, there's, a, there's, a, there's an actor you assassinate in one of the levels and by, like, turning on an industrial, like... Like movie fan to on too high a setting and blowing them off a skyscraper. <laughs> they're like filming like a big like dramatic like kiss scene on top of it. <laughs> just blow cool. them off the side of the building while they're filming the kiss scene. That's awesome. There's oh, some I really that. good ones. Or like there's one where it, there's this it's this like crazy rich you know elite party. Crazy rich Asians. No, crazy rich elite party. No, no, I mean, it's it's in like Italy, and okay. so it is, it's like a winery, right? And so. There, there, you, you're, one, of the, one of the ways you can assassinate someone in that uh, part is is by uh, like you're doing a tour of like the actual wine production facility, and like they they're you're like oh we gotta find a bear now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Punching the bear. I'm gonna kill the bear. Jesus, that was like a fire bear. Yes, big bear. Bjorn. I like how this bear is a boss. That's good. The yellow rings can block or break your bush or okay. block. Red, well, red are unblockable. Oh, okay. I gotta start. I gotta maneuver a little bit more than that. Huh? And uh, keep in mind, remember too, if you charge up uh, with Y or uh, triangle, if you, if you have a brief moment too, it uh, adds like a frost oh, okay. to your axe. Oh, uh, uh, well, well, that was not a good idea. I like how this bear is tougher than the giant in the other game. <laughs> or trolls or whatever the fuck. Yeah, well, we uh, we didn't see any giants except for Loki. Yeah, I met the troll. The thing well, we, there was the dead one. Oh, yeah, yeah just the bounce end. off of him, or what? Does that even do any damage? I mean, you're 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 hurting him. You're hurting him. He was asking if the throw attack. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's, it's a, just a little bit. It's a little yeah. bit. I don't think it does as much as. Oh, okay. Like the... Fight him for real. Oh, I let myself <laughs> lose my I'll tell you how the bear does it usually. Work. Yep. Unless you're bottom your food. <laughs> or Gemini Springfield. <laughs> yeah, he does. I mean, it's kind of bear is Good observation, man. Mamir, I don't keep you around for like retarded commentary or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he also he can't see. He's going off sound alone. So. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's maybe, that's, maybe that's his way of. Jeez. Jesus. Oh, that's good. Oh. The bear's going raging, too. I think it'd be hilarious if the, if the bear was berserking back. That'd be, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Eat shit there. There you go. You got about over halfway. There you go. You're all done. Yep. 
Yeah, that's the, that, that's a nice thing. I have to have that re we'll do a full recharge for you. Do you think this bear is related to Hanky Pank? Oh, he's man. pretty Hanky tanky, Hanky man. Boy, he's pretty yeah. tanky. I don't know if he's that big of a boy. <laughs> This, I think bear, this bear at least looks like he's got some muscle on him. <laughs> <laughs> just a flabby piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, Hank, Hank was a big boy in... He's not in my nosy way. Yeah, he's using <laughs> pizza out of the <laughs> trash. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this bear eats trash too. Well, like, Norse trash. I mean, I don't think you have, like... It's rubbing in the stuff. dumpsters outside of Asgard. <laughs> You think Thor's leaving a lot of pizza in there? Oh, things? Thor I, leaves behind, like, entire yeah, crust. <laughs> whole crust. Yeah. He just eats the center, he folds yeah. the pizza in half, and just leaves a big ring of crust. That is Thor. He <laughs> eats from the middle that of the pizza. That is literally what the Norse god of thunder would do. I believe that. And it, it, it wouldn't even be because he doesn't like the crust, it would be to disappoint someone who would like to see it, and think for a there's a pizza, and then there's a pizza. <laughs> there was the crust. <laughs> I just love the idea of somebody folding a pizza in half just eating the center of it out and then wait what the fuck oh, was that about oh fuck i hit the r3 yeah and, you did you did uh, this okay. is like the cutscene oh okay this is the guy i'm like i'm like dude i did what it said and then i got my ass handed to me it's <laughs> just concerning because your health bar goes all the way down yeah. right that's why i was like i'm fucked like I was like was i supposed to do something else i believe i followed the quick time event to a t <laughs> <laughs> die, Snap Chewbacca, die! <laughs> oh, this is turning into our KOTOR stream. <laughs> the fuck? That what? was Atreus. Look, his whole big thing is out. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And remember when he, when he found out he was a god, his mm -hmm. first question in the first game, too, was can I turn into animals? Yeah, that was that literally can. his first thing. You were a bear. <laughs> <laughs> you were Bjorn. Honestly, I think Hank the Tank might be Thor's drinking buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they eat that I pizza together. That. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I was so sad. And then I was. Yeah, they, uh, one of the reasons this game took as long as it did to come out is that they had to. It actually could have come out sooner, but they uh, they ran into an issue where halfway through uh, recording all of like the dialogue and stuff, the actor for Atreus's voice literally dropped like midway through production because hmm. he's actually oh, right, okay. a young kid. Yeah. Sorry, though they had to go back and they redo everything. Oh wow! So that yeah. is, it, you know, <laughs> it didn't That's sound right. like mm -hmm. you know pretty pubescent, and then like during random lines of dialogue. <laughs> Do you think they I, had I to get the to rights to use Hank the Tank's li likeness? In this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think a bear has the, the uh, ability to appear in court. So. Oh man, somebody sued. There, there was a nature photographer. I never, I don't what? remember how the lawsuit turned out, but a monkey had picked up the photographer's camera and then taken a picture of itself by accident. Okay. And then the photographer published that in a uh, like coffee table book that he was working on uh, okay. and someone it might have been PETA someone sued him on behalf of the monkey for using the monkey's work without his, his Did they permission win? I don't remember how the lawsuit turned out I think I read about it I read about it when it happened and before it was resolved I mean you might be able to look it up and see if it sounds like a pretty entertaining lawsuit <laughs> yeah I have a suspicion that that, that, that was PETA thrown out of court, or whatever probably. didn't win mm-hmm uh, my my favorite like nonsensical goofy lawsuit I've ever heard of though is still that woman who won the contest for a Toyota oh, yeah. at her better workplace uh -huh. and then when she went out into the parking lot it was they had an action figure of the Yoda character. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cruel. There was a there was another one of those radio contests where uh, a woman won a hundred grand. There was a contest for a hundred oh, grand, and they gave those, her yeah. one of those candy bars. Was, was it the fun size version too? I think it was. I think it was a fun size hundred grand. <laughs> they didn't even give her the full size. Wow! No, they they wouldn't even give her an entire candy bar. <laughs> what a. 
That is like a that is that is totally like fucking. Can you Ulysses? Can you look up for me at that monkey one that lost there, dude? Yeah, sure. I can check it out. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. If I'm, I don't know. If Just the, Google did that. Did, monkey. I got to Google <laughs> monkey wins lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You might have to just click image search just to see what comes. I up. do. I do <laughs> like the tingle book. I do like the adaptive uh, attention. On yeah, the, yeah, that's on cool, the right? Triggers. You yeah. really used to the PS5 controller? No, not, not really. Much, you? No, you always play. What happened to the protection stage? This is our first stream where I'm playing. Yeah, yeah, no, that's. True. I mean, I played a little bit. Like you're like, I need to pee. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I feel like I've asked before if you wanted to. Yeah, you, no, I'm usually you know, I'm usually fine with you playing, but yeah, I, like I, I ended, do. It looks like they ended in a settlement. They settled. They did. So 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 the the person the or the publisher who the was his name to... was Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> I knew <laughs> what? So wait, so so the publisher Back decided. In 2011, Naruto was just an anonymous macaque in the jungles of Indonesia. On one particular day, however, the photogenic primate happened upon a wildlife photographer's bottle. Yeah, you know the rest, but still. Yeah. I typed in "monkey wins lawsuit." Yeah, I nice. That's great. But the, so, so wait, so the publisher or the uh, the photographer or whoever, they they decided that the monkey might win the lawsuit, so they'd rather settle. settle. I guess so. <laughs> oh, that's great. Actually, I think PETA was the one who settled. Oh, okay. PETA settled, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> that monkey won the lawsuit. The uh, photographer <laughs> agreed to donate 25% of revenue from the photo to... Like charity groups, no okay. cost for four monkeys, of course. Yeah, I just I couldn't believe when I saw that where it was like uh, that somebody was suing on behalf of the monkey. Of course, it was Peter. That's exactly the sort of thing they do. Oh yeah, dude, they're dumping milk all over the place. All over the place, you say? Yeah, I just know it was going in that. going to grocery. Oh, I got milk all over me. <laughs> well, no, I mean always in grocery stores, but in different grocery stores all over the place, oh, they're yeah. going in and just dumping all the milk on the floor. Can you imagine how bad? So they're it's... the reasons milk is so expensive. There, they're the reasons places are going to be smelling like shit, dude. You know, how pissed I'd be if I had to mop up. You know how bad that mop sink would smell after. I know they're t they're costing like six loons now. <laughs> I, I wonder if the dude six that loons the... a bag. <laughs> I wonder if the dude that I saw in the grocery store the uh, the other week who was throwing milk across the floor and hurling various uh, slurs. Oh, you saw that in person. Well, he was hurling various slurs at the cashier. Oh, so he's just pouring milk on the well, floor. Well, I was wondering, yeah. is, he just, is he crazy or is he with PETA? Huh. Well, I mean, that's uh, those are synonyms, dude. Right? But he was also <laughs> he was also screaming racial slurs. Uh, more like homophobic slurs. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, still, so, so, so either way, he was just screaming slurs, pouring milk on the floor. Yeah, and threatening to have people fired and shit, even though he just. Some, some wait, guy. wait, wait, wait! He, he, this homeless man is going to march into the grocery store and threaten <laughs> to have people fired. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's I'll be work out I'll be taking my lack of money elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Clerks quit on the spot because nobody they, wanted to deal with this no, shit. I would too. I'd be like, nope, not today, man. Uh, well, little bears. I didn't mean to. He, he, he transformed. He killed their mommy. Yeah. Consequences. Uh. Well, time to raise them. Fuck you, Chewbacca's. Try to stay warm. It's <laughs> thimble winter. I think yeah. when, they're, when they're small, they're Ewoks. Nothing. No, oh, okay, I got you. It, I think that growl sounded cool. particularly like Chewbacca. Like Chewbacca. Like, well, like, yeah, the, the bear <laughs> earlier, too, also made like a Chewbacca yeah, sound. <laughs> Hang on, did Ewoks grow up to become uh, Chewbacca's? No, they're two, they're two different species. Are you sure? Are you just calling yeah. them Chewbacca's like people prefer to drag <laughs> vampires as Dracula? Yes, I am. <laughs> Damn, there's a lot of Draculas in hey, here. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Zalbar was unique. He had bacon straps. <laughs> he did. He had those straps, he man. He had those bacon straps. He but, did. He did. You know. He had a good sense of style, and he, the, he had a snack on the go. It made begging, me think of Frank strip. in that Always Sunny episode. Where, where he, he had the sausage link to his pocket. I imagine he's just kind of gnawing on him yeah. like this. <laughs> he's not grabbing him. He's just kind of gnawing on him. I wonder how that'll look in the remake. To see, to see that Probably one. won't look like bacon. Is my guess. <laughs> It'll actually look like fabric straps. Oh, what? Get out of here, man. 
gotta have killed Zeus for God's sake. You people think. I'm surprised these dudes could even take one hit from Kratos. Well, it wouldn't be much of a challenge if we were just. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, she came down. You, well, funny. you could also say that maybe, you know. Atreus, you can... stop doing that. Don't help me, because I keep on thinking you're an enemy. Well, you can't hurt him either. <laughs> I know, but I don't want him up in my face. <laughs> well, that was the nice part of him mostly sticking to the bow before. Mm -hmm. No, he was always with it. No, I, no to the, the bow, bow like, like instead of oh, now he's bow. now oh, yeah, he's yeah. coming up and trying to he, fight right, next right, to me. Why, by the time he got to the end, he was like jumping on their backs and stabbing them. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, but he wasn't like in the combat like, right, right next, next to me. Not as like, much. Yeah. But I mean, again, you can't actually like. Yeah, I know. There's no friendly fire or anything. Yeah. He just distracts me sometimes, and then I start swinging at him, and I'm like, <laughs> oh god damn it, coming up out of my peripherals, man. Like Mac and fucking knee spot. Yeah, it's always saying he's fucking elbows D in the face. Yep. <laughs> Damn fence. That's right. He's good with that. No surprise, really. Atreus! I'm just checking on. Too bad. <laughs> I thought he said too bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got a little there, like little huts just for the wolves down there. Hey, is there a bear in my house? What's up with that? What, the popper? Yeah. That's just what the um, mission marker oh, okay. looks like. Oh, okay, gotcha. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. In a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Now, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one day you know, it gets exhausting being ahead. Being carried around by somebody else. Go to bed, Atreus. Yeah, go to bed. I had to murder you when you were a bear. It's been a long day. <laughs> you gotta get up so you can be murdered again. I'm trying to have another one of those mustard nightmares. <laughs> what was that? The ball. Kratos just can't sleep, man. Is that what finally kills I can Kratos smell in the, the end? Is sleep deprivation. <laughs> That's what gets him. That's what gets him. <laughs> Oh shit. I mean... It's fast four. Yup. That shit's right, it's like real far. Damn it, Thor, can't you just put on a shirt? <laughs> no. You gotta see his fat gut. You have, like, the dad bod of, like, a family that has two dads. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is cold. What? Don't invite him in. <laughs> oh, well, okay. You would not find me good company. <laughs> uh, it's rude sure not to we'll invite him in. Lots to Maybe you could have not destroyed our house if you just want to have a drink. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think Thor could. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I feel like he probably. I feel Damn like he's like he a is a giant. To any, any he is a big guy. Up. War of the dad bods. <laughs> dad bod of war. <laughs> nice place. Don't be condescending. <laughs> I mean, it's Ford. He's an asshole. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're, we're, this is, this is like accurate to Norse mythology. <laughs> he's he still a being, terrible. he's still being rude. Yeah. <laughs> he's, no, he's, he's gonna be. This is him trying to be nice. Yeah, this is, this is him being like, <laughs> yeah, well, genuinely cordial. I have a right to be offended. He's at my house. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, Kratos is probably always a little offended, to be honest. Yeah, I can't ever imagine Kratos being a chill guy about anything. True. Let alone someone who is an obnoxious prick. I would enjoy just seeing Kratos like stub his tor his toe on like a like a door or something. And then killing the door. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just like little shit that just gets the work up. That's something I want to see in a game. Like yeah, though, like, like Kratos does seem like one of those people that has like a thousand pet peeves. <laughs> 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 you could have told me before I was bored. Why are you here? Just uh, being polite. 
<laughs> you seem like a calm and reasonable <laughs> Are you a calm and reasonable person? If the moment calls for a calm. <laughs> the only thing that's not realistic is that Thor is downing that fucking mead. Yeah. Wow, it's just that like Raven go get Odin? Apparently. Maybe the Raven was Odin. I didn't invite Odin over, man. You like, didn't what the Thor. Yeah, I know. Like, all these gods, so all all these gods want to make house. a social call yeah. at the same time, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Plus, this is going to be like Kratos trying to get some sleep while there's just like a, a Norse rave going on in his <laughs> house. <laughs> We're, I mean, but also, like, this game is not wasting any time. Mm -hmm. It's just getting right the fuck into stuff. Mm -hmm. And I love that. Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstanding. Regrettable one. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. That <laughs> is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like them. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Always be closing. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? This is like Stanley <laughs> Tucci, Odin. <laughs> You're no fun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's very much got a mob boss kind of yep. feel. He does, him. yeah. <laughs> Just drinking all of it. But that's the only reason Thor didn't drink it before. <laughs> How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you. Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Uh. <laughs> 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 <The> fuck what? <laughs> Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then Capiche? That's it. There was <laughs> Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver tongued little shit. <laughs> what if we don't know about you? What have your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. Mm -hmm. He's lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe it's really all you want isn't it so what do you say no <laughs> <laughs> yeah you really couldn't have expected any other kind of response out of <laughs> Oh, it all seemed relatively reasonable, you know, granted the things that Curtis has said he wants. <laughs> this is true. About time. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. There you go, man. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> from here, we 
got a tradition called blood payments. It means I get a piece of you for what you took from my family. You'll pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot like the Balder fight. It is. But going through more things. Yeah, they yeah. went they went further even. That was for Balder. Now show me this god killer I heard so much about. Holy shit. I did not see wow, half your health. my axe. I don't have my axe. Yeah, I hope you gotta fist fight him. Oh shit. He's not okay. he's not using the owner either. Oh uh, damn. Yeah, at least he has some sense of honor. No, oh, I got rage. There you go. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> I know this is like the least to actually like we talk has been these the last one and this one on a stream. Because well, they've actually got like good like dialogue. Yeah, this is really it's 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 engrossing. It's like yeah. hard to not just kind of get like I, in and watch. I'm it happy. I'm happy to make you in. in uh, a kind of snarky comment based on what's happening in it, but definitely I'm not feeling as much especially uh, the desire to talk over it. No, it. it's, it's just oh, it's, I mean, it's so uh, that's, Damn it, the red's the unblockable. Yeah, red's unblockable. Yellow can break your block, but you can at least absorb the damage. Right. So far, this is going pretty well. Yeah, it's not too bad. Doing pretty good. How were you ever I, I did decently well uh, playing the first one. Yes, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's the same. It's the same mechanic. Yeah, yeah. like there's evolutions. Oh, shit, that hurt. And there's new stuff. That but hurt. It, like, if you played the last one, oh, like, there's shit. a major There we go. No, these sons were kind of d bags, dude. Odin said so himself. Yeah, I love that. They were kind of useless. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, you know, some of these cutscenes are kind of pissing me off because I keep on thinking I fucked just like in that bear fight. Like I fucked oh. up somehow, and I'm like, I know I pushed the right button. What are you talking about? <laughs> Anytime, anytime yeah. you click the stick in like that, that's going to be... Yeah, okay, gotcha. <laughs> or at the very least, to kill like a kill hey, son of a bitch. Now, now we've both got our weapons out. Primary weapons, yeah, for sure. Also, you guys know in, um, in Norse mythology, Brock and Sindri, they actually are the dwarves that made Mjolnir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they, 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 there's like, there's like one of the poems is like, it's uh, like the story you of told, like two brothers. You told me podcasts. that, I didn't really know that, but. Yeah, yeah no, I, I just, yeah, yeah, Brock and Misty from Pokemon. Misty from Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't Goldie. quite strike me as like the blacksmith type. <laughs> Well, I mean, you could be, you could be surprised, say. You never judge a book by its cover. Yeah, is that a I sexist feel like, comment, I feel like dude? That, there's, like, all there is to know about that fictional character is, like, out there. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like... like well, there's there's some, hidden information, but, like... <laughs> I feel like you're making <laughs> some <laughs> kind of sexist assumptions, I mean. Yeah, well, what was... <laughs> <laughs> what, she can't be a blacksmith? Yeah, why not? I, I'm not saying she couldn't be. She couldn't. You imply I that it was on blacksmith. <laughs> 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 Dumbass. <laughs> that she already <laughs> is. <laughs> Get a clean slate. That ain't how it works. You're a destroyer, like me. Oh shit! That time you might have fucked up. Yep, I did. <laughs> oh no! I yep, that was actually just gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, what? Really? oh, okay. I was like, I was like, I'm not the fastest button masher, but I felt like I did pretty decent. That would be. A, I, I, I thought that was, you know, you were done. That's, yeah. I, re I really did think that. that. I think that that's one of those great, like, little, like, let's actually use the mechanics of the game to. Okay. Kind of pull you in, yeah, yeah. Like, because I was like, damn, dude, that's a that's a pretty tough challenge. Yeah. Because I, I mean, I wasn't like doing too bad on the button mashing. Well, that's part of the reason why I assumed, like, that one had to be like, oh, you're just, I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. So technically it's more beating your ass, but then brought you back to life? Yeah. Huh. Like, like what was that? Like, he defibrillated me with Mjolnir? It looks like yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, that is. Like, some whatever. hubris on Thor's part. He just wants to have some fun, man. 
I mean, I guess he's gonna kill you twice because he killed two yeah. sons. Or did you just kill the one and the other one was a bitch? I don't remember. Uh, Kratos killed one and then the other one came back after Thor had, like, beaten him. Oh, that's for right. For losing, and then Atreus killed him. Oh, that's right. right, yeah. Oh. Although I think, I don't know. On to the I next guy's name. probably thinks Kratos killed both of them. Yeah. Probably doesn't. Yeah, probably has no idea that Kratos <laughs> actually did. Yeah, Right, because yeah. he was a little kid, you wouldn't assume. They didn't seem to indicate they had any idea that a tray is the god. Right. Put him last. Even in death. The fuck you say? God doesn't in fear of you. He died of the wounds you gave him. Oh, we got a model father. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just, I love the writing. I yeah, this is good. <laughs> they have <given laughs> such personality Dude, to them. When he called Mjolnir back and he's just like, dumbass. <laughs> Pretty solid. <laughs> Oh shit, okay. That's the name of the game is changing. <laughs> You're seeing him, dude. You've been seeing me. I'm right here. He wants Kratos to, like, lose it, you know? Yeah, I get that. Yeah, like, he really I mean, I kind of want to see him do it, too. Oh, shit. I mean, Alder kind of sucks. I mean, it, I mean, he wasn't even easy to kill. I mean, Kratos snapped his neck how many times before he fought? Well, I mean, he, he literally is invincible. No, I know. Uh, the game, it also, uh, the game is, it, it kind of acts like you did all of the side missions yeah. story-wise, so... My point is, I, I feel like Baldur's vulnerability was a crutch. Oh, yeah, 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 no, he wouldn't have been that strong without it. <laughs> Watch that belly jiggle. Like, comparatively, anyway. Yeah. Like, like, obviously, he's still, yeah, obviously he's still God, but still. Yeah, I mean, like, that first fight was totally, like, some Dragon Ball Z shit. It really was. Like, the landscape. So, I mean, yeah. he was still a strong god, but, like, like Thor clearly is on another level. Right. I'm surprised there hasn't been more of that kind of thing in this fight. Yeah. I'd, I'd enjoy seeing, you know, Thor do some more kind of environmental stuff. I mean, that lightning right there with the, in the middle of the environment because of the, the collision of both weapons. Yeah, that's pretty much cool. I see why my sons fell to you. <laughs> Even this lesser version of you. But I am not my sons. And your boy, all father, has plans for him. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> that was like some rocky shit. Yeah, it was. <laughs> there he is. There's the god of war. <laughs> Consider your blood debt paid. He's seeing you. So they probably ran off with this kid. Odin is with Atreus. Oh no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, man. Well, there you go. Just like, kind of just like Poseidon in 3. We, I mean, mm. the, yeah, you didn't kill him, but. Yeah. Go, you did got to Got to fight with off. Thor. <laughs> yep, fuck yeah. Yeah, do it, but they start shit off with the. Uh, on the dramatic look, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Now they killed the dog in the first fight, like five minutes. <laughs> 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 so the dog was just sick. It's not like Thor yeah. came by and decided no, to smack no, it no, around. No. But they're just not. I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely not like an easy you into it sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's let's go, let's fight Thor, kill a dog. Right. You know, do all that like immediately. This will get you home. Alright. 
But this one, um, I mean, we're doing we're doing all the Norse mythology in this game, mm-hmm. right? right? Like this is the end. So they, there was debate over doing a trilogy. Mm-hmm. Um, they decided to end up doing just one, but just one or two. But but like I love that. I love that. It's like no, we can tell this story in just one more game. Let's not stretch it out. But but we you gotta make it like the Hobbit movies. Say. <laughs> Well, here there's actually a lot of material that if they had really decided they wanted three, they could have done three. Also, All Fucker was a pretty great clip. <laughs> but I don't know, Sage. I mean, Hobbit movies are pretty good. What if they just made No, they are not. <laughs> I mean, I'll give you they're pretty good in comparison to Rings of Power. Oh, that's true. That's sad. Like, honestly... Like, I, I mean, I still wouldn't say good, but, like, I- even those Hobbit movies got, like, a few things right. Like, the Gollum scene. Or, you know, there's, like, a couple of sequences, Fuck. at least, that are that work. And they have that Dwarven song. I mean, you know, it is from the books, like, you're not. Oh, good. It's a children's you. book. And the, part of the problem is that then they kept bouncing for more back and forth between the children's story yeah, tone. Yeah. And if the whole thing had, had just kept a consistent children's story tone, they could have had a moment like a song like that, mm-hmm. and it might not have felt so out of place. Well, Rings of Power had a song. Oh, yeah, you're talking about the one at the end of the credits. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. You you mean the the lore that they contradicted and then wrote a song about the stuff they left out and then immediately put it in the scene after? <laughs> yeah, that was smart. Sage. That was a, a genius writing decision. Uh, no, it wasn't. Rings, Lord of the Rings is in good hands. So. No, I'm <laughs> if I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you read the truth for me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. <laughs> trust me, you'll want to. <laughs> you have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin or Thor. And clearly, they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. Yeah, you need a better home. <laughs> yeah, this is not particularly safe anymore. <laughs> yep. And well, Kratos isn't exactly the god of building, is he? No. No. I've only, <laughs> I've only really ever seen him destroy things. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't just live in a mound of rubble. <laughs> I mean, I, I think he probably did, did build this cabin. Yeah, I would think so. But oh, Are we sure Faye didn't build it? You've never seen uh, they, it. I mean, they, they probably did it together, but, like, I mean, he can move logs at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think he's... Aha! Uh-huh, blades of chaos. Yeah. I have to wait for it. Nice. Your magic chisel. They don't, like, maybe... And what is that, Tesseract? That's your light. That's oh, just, okay. like, your flashlight, basically. Sunstone. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a giant. Those giant. things are crazy. Have you ever seen those? The Vikings used to use them, the sunstones. You could, yeah, not you like could in real life. hold it up. No, I haven't seen one in real life, but you know what I'm That's talking true. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. I've seen them. They hold it up and see where the sun is, even if it's cloudy. Mm-hmm. Nice. Different costumes, or they, they do this... different. They have they have different. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, there are that there is actually like different. Th- there wasn't the last game. It's just that I like had the best one. Okay, but when we started, <laughs> there wasn't any real point. Ooh, in, like, wooden sifting knob, the huh? Oh, <laughs> Alex, you gonna equip your wooden knob? I already did. All right, blades of chaos. <laughs> Steel hand knob belongs to a gnome. <laughs> yep. so, so no sure. knob. Not enough resources, okay. Yeah, you haven't collected anything for... Yeah, I mean, I've been collecting everything I can, but there's only been so much of the game. Yep, for sure. Yeah. Go. Go. Do you know this music was done by Bear McCreary? Great composer, man. Is yeah. he a bear? Yeah. I don't know him. 
I would have been really impressed if a bear had composed music. Like, that's something worth talking about. This dude, this dude's been in a, he, he turned a ton of stuff. Uh, if you remember how good the music was in uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. There we go. Oh, really? Yep, yeah, that was him. Um, oh, cool. He was uh, the Thanks for main composer of the theme to Black Sails. Oh, really? That yeah, shit's that so good. Theme, yep. That was him. He's, right. he's actually done a lot of stuff. He did the first mm, theme, okay. too. Sort of, or the first Atreus, theme, where you go, man? You oh, over going. here? Oh, okay. The the he's just right behind that rock. <laughs> It'll be easier to explain once we're there. Stay within my sight line, dude. So I don't look else, around for you like a dick. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the giants can keep their secrets. What? People don't care about Jotunheim? Well, if you only follow him, you might miss stuff, keep in mind. Because he's true. going to the goal. Oh, uh, that's a good point. I wonder if I'm missing resources. Yeah, you are. God damn it. <laughs> That'll never like, not be funny. I almost feel like it should just go. Hey, you missed out on that hack silver. Yeah. Why is it called hack silver, anyways? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, that might just be some. Is, is it like a Norse cryptocurrency that somebody hacked? <laughs> Norse cryptocurrency. <laughs> Man, you see what happened with that FTX? FTX. Uh, that crypto is that like exchange? MTX? What the fuck is that? Oh, I mean, yeah, I know <laughs> just a little bit totally about it. totally melted down. Yeah, it gets... I mean, Dude, it's just, it was just a just bunch just of nerds it. having orgies all the time. What? Just stealing all the money. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it, it was a crypto exchange and that turned Yeah, it was, like, was, it was like one of the most famous ones. <laughs> it had like celebrity endorsements. They like ran Super Bowl ads or whatever. And it was just a bunch of nerds and they were having like these orgies. Like there were only 10 employees of the company. They lived in the Bahamas and they were all fucking each other. What the hell? <laughs> and they were stealing all of the all money. money what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and it just collapsed. It's like it's like it, it, they say it that there hasn't been a financial really yeah really bad but they said there hasn't been a financial crisis like this within a company since Lehman Brothers collapsed in wow. 2008. Like the amount of money and the number of people who just got completely fucked. I guess don't employ satyrs oh. at your company. <laughs> wow. Also, just uh, the whole point of cryptocurrency is not that you don't have to trust the banks. So maybe don't trust a centralized exchange <laughs> to handle it. Right. Like, yeah. Because yeah. cryptocurrency exchanges are less regulated than banks. So. <laughs> yeah. There's usually less orgies in banks too. Well, you don't Usually. know that. <laughs> you don't, don't say never. You don't know that. I seen eyes wide shut. <laughs> I was about to say, you, you see bank orgies? What banks you been to? Well, that dude's yeah, name was Bankman. No, no bank? Sperm bank. <laughs> where, sperm bank, dude. Orgies? That's where I make my deposit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sperm bank, got it. Good, sure. Good. Yeah, I got a bunch of gnome kids running around out there. Just that I don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, what would you do if you had bothered an own child? I snuff it out. I think we like had a whole podcast <laughs> about what I murder my child. No, we had, we had asked about what if he had a human child who identified. Oh, that's child. right, uh, right. That was like a gnome furry. Yeah, yeah. We didn't ask specifically if it was a well, yeah, what biological gnome yeah, like child. How would I have a gnome kid? child? Well, if you're making deposits at the sperm bank, yeah, and then maybe a gnome goes into the bank. Sus, and... sus gnome bitch. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, like it's not. It's not even a gnome that you actually. Maybe like a gnome is like grubbing through your wastebasket, finding. You use Kleenex or whatever, you know? Oh, well, like it happens to those, like, millionaires and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. I. Wow, oh, that, that's a tough question. I mean, I guess I just try to forget about it. <laughs> like, just but what pretend if they, I didn't know. What if he's, like, wants to get to know you? Yeah. Oh, my God, like, he shows up at my door and they're like, dude! He goes, knock on the door. You probably the never knew that I existed, but I've dreamed of this moment all my life. Like, you hear oh a knock on the door, and you open the door, and you don't see anyone there, and you look down, and it's just a little gnome. I used to look up at the... It's got your face. <laughs> God. <laughs> so look at my mushroom and think about you every day. 
Holy shit. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, that would be so, tra- <laughs> it would be so traumatizing to me. I don't know. Like, I think I just slowly closed the door and just <laughs> go back inside and pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> and then you'd, just be, you'd be out there, like, knocking on the windows. I, I, want, I want there to be a giant window in that front room, too, so he could just very visibly see <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> And I just, I, I, just I, knocking on the window. I just be, wa- I just turn Walk on the TV. And slowly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then he lives out in your backyard, and the people will walk by. Oh like, God. oh, it's a really nice garden. He's just standing, got just standing in my front yard, yeah, pretending yeah. like he belongs there and shit. <laughs> and then whenever you when try people to leave your house, aren't he looking, to talk to you. when people aren't looking, he like turns around, like, and just looks at me. Who didn't seem pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found, right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally. So yeah, you gotta be careful with your gnome dalliances, Alex. Cause that could happen to you one day. I I, I, I haven't dallied, all over the bro. Place, I have not dallied any gnomes or anything <laughs> like that. It is not happening. This game also has more verticality. Yeah, I was just gonna. Irons. I was just gonna say the the dropping down and then using the blades of chaos. Almost that actually feels a little more like the originals because you used to yeah. swing around on those all mm-hmm. the time. No, yeah, I think that was something we even commented on on one of our previous videos about this is that there wasn't as much of that in that game. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I mean it's got nice berry mechanic. That will serve you well. <laughs> What the fuck is that? He, he zombified like immediately. Oh, okay, I was like. Hello. I get it, I know what you're trying is it, is it the best to just bother me when I'm in the middle of something? I mean, that's what cats are for. That's true. When you're not busy, they want nothing to do with you, but when you're doing something, they are all over Skill you. Skill tree right. available. She got. One for Atreus, one for the axe, and one for the blades of cast. Uh, Atreus, grab enemies for longer. Draws enemy aggression. Oh, perfect. And I, th- I believe Atreus has his. Yeah, yep, in the corner. You oh, see do it I? Oh. So Atreus, so you don't have enough XP for oh, Atreus. Oh, okay, gotcha. So he's talking about. Oh, okay, I him. got you. Okay, so I got some stuff. Does that make how many kills stuff. he gets, or? Um, I, I, I think, I think it's just like it just builds every up enemy time. that you kill, he gets just some. nets you a certain okay. amount for each character. All right. More so for Kratos, cause right? Because he's, he's the main, and he's got a much bigger skill tree. Yeah. That looks pretty useful. It'd be pretty pointless for for Petraeus to have like seven billion XP points and he has nothing to invest them in. Right. And since they're not, it's not a shared pool, um, like you don't have to like. It's not like you're using up points on like on one Atreus. character right. and then yeah. not being able to do the other. That would suck. Getting pissed. All right. Cool. Back in the crack. <laughs> Back in the crack again. Uh, that pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I can just so. Well, now it's out of the way. Yeah. Gotcha. I just didn't understand why I'm guessing you needed to drag it back in the point. Back, yeah. <laughs> like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the Giants, so he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, Ten. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? Man, I miss when Silver was, like, legit. Silver? Yeah, it's a, just a hacky silver, dude. Well, I don't know. What would you do with silver? Hmm? I'm just saying silver sold out, dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sold out to big silver. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude, silver's a fucking hack now. <laughs> well, one of the cats is chasing... 
the light beam reflected off its own collar eh. today for like half an hour. Yeah, I was about to say that sounds like a bit of a an endless task there. Yeah, no, she just she you know, she just saw a light and just went nuts. Okay. Same one that'll do the laser pointer forever. In this. That makes sense. Zip line. I should have never gone zip lining. <laughs> This is just how the Vikings got to the New World. <laughs> yeah, didn't you know that's what the masts were for in Viking ships? Is that what they were for? Yeah, they didn't even use sails. I can they just had a giant zip line across the Atlantic. Mash. Triangle. Okay. It's too late. So you hold it for the axe, but then for but the so you mash it. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Understood. Okay, guys. These guys, well, no, not all of them, but the zombified right ones have the, the frost protection on them. Okay, gotcha. I need to get my blades of chaos out because I just bought the frost ability. To deal extra damage. Get up on it. Yeah. Paying more attention. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I like how I do love how limp he goes. It, <laughs> Just critical existence failure. Because a lot of a lot of video games nowadays have like pretty like fairly like like fluid and kind of almost realistic death animations right. where like they come they collapse in some sort of way that feels kind of real. Right. But he just... Yeah. <laughs> he just kind of shuts off. I still miss the era of video games when they had, like, they had just started using ragdoll physics, but, like, they had no idea how to actually make it look like physics. And so you, you'd, like, smack someone and their limbs would fall, flail like they're the Octodad and they'd fly across the room. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a that's a that's a multiplayer game for us to do at some point. Octo Dad. Yeah, dude. You, so it's still like you, it's still only the one character just playing that like story mode that's right. the game, but and it can be up to four players, and you each control an individual. God damn it, dude! He's, a, he's a way up in my <laughs> ass. Yeah, just you know how hard that game is already. That just sounds like pure chaos. That that's exactly what it's gonna be. So basically, it's like training for Pacific Rim. Kind of. Can you imagine you, you think that's three of us and then Michael like all trying to <laughs> control one character at the same time? Does that mean we'd no. be qualified to pilot a match? Shit, uh, Voltron. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Get the fuck out of here, dude. It does look like they're being like Thanos snapped when they die. <laughs> I like throwing the trees, that's fun. Yeah, it's a nice little extra environment thing they added. <laughs> and don't forget uh, Atreus is um, square to use his arrows. Oh, that's right. Do they do more damage than throwing your axe? No, no, but it's but an extra attack that I can kind of layer into my own. The arrows uh, fill up the stun meter. Oh, okay. More than they do. I mean, they do some damage, but they're they're mainly about filling up the stun meter, so you can do mm -hmm. like those execution moves. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Which is this like? Oh, you just you did one just now in that fight, and like already, I feel like a little more violent than the last game. Right. Like just, I mean, well, that makes sense. Kratos is more pissed now. Yeah. Well, I mean, there was there weren't a lot of human enemies in that game either. So like, you, you, there you weren't really carving up people so much at any point, and, and then this one. Really no, I mean. Some. The like you were carving up like elves and frogs. Right, right, right. But people. they had like you know, not a, like. I'm trying to remember if the elves had like red blood or not now, but I thought it was more like green. Or something. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's, yeah. So I just but like there's something extra visceral to just cutting up regular like right, human right. beings, you know. At least at least they didn't have white blood. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing in uh, in Metal Gear Solid Four, it, like so Raiden's like the only like android yeah. in, in the game. And he has the white blood in all versions of that game. Uh -huh. It's like it's like specifically like an android thing, but then like an alien. But yeah. then in the in right in in the story of Metal Gear Rising, they actually make a point that 
they've like updated the way that the androids work in the universe to use just normal human blood instead of um, instead of synthetic blood because it's cheaper or whatever. Right. Uh, but then in the Japanese released the game, they had the white the white blood in that game still just for censorship reasons. Yeah, yeah. And yet in the story. You could still read like a document about how oh, they just use normal blood. Yeah, about how like that that's not the, supposed to be the same. Uh, that's a bit of a fail. It is. But it's, it's, it's it's a Japanese game too. Yeah, that's weird. It's getting censored in I don't, Japan, I don't know. but not here. I don't know why that worked the way it did. I think it might have gotten censored in Germany too. Yeah, the Germans are always real big on that. They always got to make sense. I mean, the Australian, the Australian, the Australian, Australian <laughs> <than a> war. <laughs> censor. At least it's not like the Germans used to be, where like any time there's a game with... What the hell is that? Oh, it's oh, a... Oh, it's like centaur a centaur bit. Deer. Yes. Is there a technical word for a centaur deer? I guess. I don't know. Deer centaur. They, they call her a stalker, so... I don't know, but I'm not sure. Is she from Centaur World? I... Anything could be a centaur in Centaur World. I know, that's where all your new friends are, girl. <laughs> 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 Aren't you guys glad I introduced you to this? No. <laughs> what? I mean, there, 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 there are. It's a lot of good jokes, but fuck, man, I don't want to. This is a horrible memory. Is it? In my mind. You don't like that? Are we, is this Kratos going to go to Centaur World? No. No, that is not one of the Night Realms. <laughs> <laughs> but it could. Alex, you know, more about, not. you know more about Centaur World than we do, so here's a question for uh, you. Actually, I've actually watched exactly as much Centaur yeah, World as you. Yeah, <laughs> well, here's the question. Like, what if it's a thing in Centaur World where, like, something that's normal goes there, and then over time it mutates into a Centaur version of itself? I, I don't know. Uh, I guess it could happen. I don't know. That one horse didn't turn into a centaur as far as I could tell. But we only saw part of one episode, right? It could have been a centaur. Damn it. How do I avoid those errors? <laughs> yeah, good noob. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I... There's a, there's, there's like a right, like, exact, like, direction to roll in. That, like, oh, okay, I got you. It's just, you just part of it as you go. At least this isn't Dark Souls. God, no. Although, like Dark Souls, you can, uh, click the right stick in to create, like, a lock-on, so you don't have to, oh, okay. uh, you can be like, you don't have to look for where the enemy is as much. <laughs> Die! Sick of your shit. Yeah, this game didn't do the, like, very quiet build up uh, that the first little last game. Yeah. No. Not at all. Which good though, like I, I think, you know, as much as I as I like that game, yeah, I'm glad that curious. this one is just kind of hog wild, isn't it? Stab her throw. I've got a weirdo to kill. What's up? I said get out of my way. It's I got a weirdo to kill. God damn it. So I'm guessing that's probably a mini boss enemy that will recur. Uh yeah, there's definitely I think more Sort of like the trolls. Hmm. Yeah, it's like one of those where I think it's a, it's not even I think it's a boss the first time, but when like you run into him later, it's not. That makes sense. Which that does happen in Dark Souls. That's true. Happens all the fucking time. Except in Dark Souls, they're fucking brutally difficult, <laughs> and they're still that hard when they send them at you as regular enemies. Like, dude, My it took me so long broken? to yeah, Thor broke it. No, damn. Okay. Or, or at least it's, uh, or, or, or fucked it up and then she broke it the rest of the way. Yeah, you. So you don't have a shield right now? Yeah, fucking Thor, is you gonna pay for a new shield? Oh, cool. Yeah, you gotta lock it. There's tons of different, like, yeah, ability, yeah. Like, attacks you can slot into that. Right. The shield mom gave you. Thor damaged it. But now. Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. <laughs> Come on, we can get in this way. But I want to find stuff. Yeah, so you always go the opposite direction of where they tell you. Oh, yeah, never nice. listen to your kid. 
It is the Ashen God's fault. She told us the witch said the Ashen God murdered Boulder. Oh, so we're the Ashen God. So, oh. so, so Freya mm-hmm. told all these people, yeah. these random yeah. raiders yeah. in the woods that so you do we started, started Fimber Fimber Winter. Winter. Oh. oh, shit. She said if the God dies, Fimber Winter will so that's why they're keep pranking. Oh, they, they, they do want to eat Kratos. No more cold, no more Ragnarok. We ran out of food a week ago. Hey, there's ago. your cannibalism. Yeah, yeah. Matter, so soon we will feast on God flesh. That they okay. do, they want to eat them. Is it technically cannibalism if you're eating a god, but you're just a human? I don't think so. Oh, Kane's going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to eat god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe with some rosemary. What do you think a god would taste like? I don't know. What do you pair? What kind of wine do you pair? Like, I mean, what kind of wine do you pair with like god? Yeah. God tastes like chicken nuggets. <laughs> tastes like chicken nuggets. Yes. Not many. I have seen them. All those panels we opened up in the first game. more to them than we realized. Well, the collapsed pillar is new. But the shrine is just on the other side. Do you think gods would taste different depending on what they're the god of? Probably. Just like, I bet Poseidon's got a seafood thing going on. Yeah, he probably on. tastes like sushi. Yeah. Sushi side. <laughs> sushi, sushi side. side. <laughs> that, that, that'd be a great restaurant, man. Sushi side? Yeah. Hell yeah. I feel would like it would be, would want. it just be sushi, or would it be kind of a Greek sushi fusion? I think it would restaurant? have to be a Greek. Like yeah, a it would have, have to be like, like a gyro full of poke or something. <laughs> like that. That's an interesting idea. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Does it? That's another. That's another uh, restaurant for the comics. I think. Yeah. <laughs> gross. I can tell you, I would not want to try to eat Zeus though. He's, he's probably fucking gross. Yeah, probably I feel tastes like... like sexual assault. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Come on. Oh, sweet. No, that was the very first one that we opened up in the first game, oh, too. Oh, okay. The Poseidon did a fair amount of that, too, didn't he? Uh, yeah. Like, I mean, like Zeus right. is all about that's that That's where shit, mermaids but... come from, right? <laughs> no. Poseidon actually, like, <laughs> creates all of those, cre- a lot of yeah. the creatures himself. I don't, I don't remember any specific stories about Poseidon raping anyone, but I, that does not mean that they weren't there. Yeah, I mean... How do you make those mermaids, Hades dude? Didn't, Fucking fish? That's true, Hades, Hades is right. actually, like, the most reasonable one out of all of them. <laughs> Well, you don't know. Like, like, compare their, like, legit personalities in the mythology to each other. Hades is, like, the only one that seems like a decent guy. <laughs> he does, not only does he not rape anyone, he doesn't even cheat on his wife, and they all do that. Yep. <laughs> That's probably why they made him go to hell. And they were like, dude, come there on, There is a reason that the internet looks at, like, those characters as, like, a fictional, <laughs> like, power couple, right? Like, Hades and Persephone. Yeah. Because they actually are, don't, like... Yeah. Fuck around, right? <laughs> well, I mean, except for uh, Percy Jackson. Well, yeah, I mean, Stephanie was a pedophile in that. The secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati, the wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. <laughs> like a giant. <laughs> the wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. <laughs> Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hathi's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. <laughs> <laughs> Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse. Haven't of seen the heart. Those in a <laughs> <laughs> but then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. Hmm. What does any of this have to do? We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. 
right? Mumir, can this be? I mean, with all the tier stuff they laid out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty obvious how that's gonna go. What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait. <laughs> I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. All right. Out here. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit weird. Don't want to yeah. go back through the right. triptych if I don't have to. <laughs> what is this? See, you see this cat? Everything She's just done. looking at the bed. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Why? Animals. <laughs> now she's gonna just stay there. <laughs> I think that has happened so many times. Weird cats. I found it in one of the other shrines. Oh, that's right. How many have you visited? All of them. Well, all of them? <laughs> All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. <coughs> but I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. You mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. They're drilling for oil. We can never figure out exactly. <laughs> we. Drill, baby, drill. <laughs> Sindri's been helping me. Yeah. Look, I talked him into it. Great. He's, he's literally like he's going to punch him out yeah. right there. You can see his knuckles turn him white. <laughs> Somewhere, Sindri just feels a grip on his throat. <laughs> Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realm, so the bleeding out sounds like a mine eye. The realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Spark will find that's a good bet. Their minds did burst black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves. Is that where BP is from? <laughs> BP from <laughs> from Spartelheim. <laughs> Spartelheim. <laughs> so there you go. What now? The first world we're gonna go to is it is when we didn't see it all in the, yeah. in the last game. Well, Ben Sharpmart. <laughs> They're not German wild. dwarves, are they? <laughs> there you go, drawings. Yeah, Dreyus. They look for like every little thing, oh, basically. Oh, this is the giants. This was among the most difficult cult to believe. Giant wolves, the power to chase day into night and back again. Yet the secrets Atreus uncovered within their shrine revealed they are alive, and perhaps then so tear. How do you have us get into Sparkle fight? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. I want to get down Sindri there. Is full of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, you gotta suplex it. Maybe with the uh, yeah, suplex the wall. Yeah. Suplex the what earth itself. That? Maybe you're supposed to drag some sort of thing there. Mm, what do I have? Like there maybe there's a ledge up there. Yeah. Is there? No, on that side, yeah. Uh oh. -huh. You can't get to it from here, but. Okay. How much of this have you played with Nadia so far? We're a little ways into it. I mean, I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, I guess I'm not uh, sure exactly how, because, okay. you know, I, I feel we'll, we'll probably do, like, the story-based side missions, but we won't go, mm -hmm. like, uncovering everything. Right. Right, like, in this in this playthrough. Um, we are doing, like, everything, so I don't know how far there in the we game go. we actually are. <laughs> Yeah. We're a little ways though. Cool. Like further than we'll be able to get in this first stream for sure. Oh sweet. I can't I did get over here. Nice. Did you hear of Odin's offer? For the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. He told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, come to think of it, I would really enjoy just unleashing Kratos into the, the Percy Jackson Greek mythology. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I could just kill all of them. That'd be nice. That'd be nice, man. I would, I would be a big fan of that. You know they're doing? They're releasing another uh, adaptation of that in the near future. Oh, yeah, I'm Why? sure that won't stink at all. Yeah, I mean, hey, maybe, it, maybe it'll be better, but... Wasn't that past its cultural moment at this point? Yes. Does anybody even remember Percy Jackson? Yeah. It's got its fans, it does. Yeah. I mean, like, it's, not, it's not me, but... <laughs> I just, I feel like those YA novels have an expiration date, like... In, in, the, the whole YA genre seems to have kind of Collapse. collapsed. Right. Yeah, like it's, well, it was just so overdone. But even period. even even if it hadn't collapsed, like you'll only have so long from like the moment oh, that yeah, those just, books oh, yeah. get, are popular to cash in on them before nobody gives a shit anymore. <laughs> right. I mean, unless you do something actually good with it, but. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> not, with, not with that series. I know, I know, I know. Like I said, I'm not even a, I'm not even a fan of those books in the first place. So. I could see them being better than those movies purely because those movies are such dog shit. Well, yeah, we want. Mm -hmm. Man, those are. Those ended up being like, like, like the worst mm -hmm. of those mythologies. They we did, watched, yeah. We watched every bad Greek like mythology movie that, that anyone that we could has find, made, yeah. Anyway. And. That was the worst of it. Honestly, right? Like, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Immortals. Immortals was trash. That might, maybe actually, that might have been the God absolute damn worst. It. And then, of course, there was Gods of Egypt. Not Greek mythology, but mythology. Gods of Egypt was the best out of <laughs> because it was the funniest. It was the most entertaining. I mean, it, it, so, I mean, it was probably the most stupid, mm -hmm. <laughs> like all together. But God damn, did that movie make me laugh? I mean, it like, was entertaining. When, it succeeded at being a piece of media. Yeah. Like, well, like, when Ra, like, gets bigger and it looks like a Mario power <laughs> Like, the special effect is so bad. But yeah, the Percy Jackson movies were also damn entertaining as far as being trashy cinema. Uh, they, they, were, they, had, they had some highlights that they, they did. There was some actual like, things. Remember how just, like... Kind of, well, you know what? Actually, it wasn't. It was uh, Gods of Egypt and the Percy Jackson movies. But that's not what I think about it. But there, there's the, like the weird size differences between the regular humans. Yeah, and yeah, that was super strange. Those are both of those. It was. It was worse in Gods of Egypt. Though. It was worse in God. It was like legitimately like kind of weird, like almost uncanny valley. Yeah, it, it had this real creepy like tone to it the whole yeah. time. Made me think of like the like fucking like like the what was it Final Fantasy Spirits again? <laughs> From like, you remember that one? That was I like, do, yeah. Yeah, I was like that was like the like prime example of like the uncanny valley for a really long time. <laughs> That'd be a really interesting way to do like a horror movie, actually. If you have like these godlike figures that are like weirdly big but also kind of freakish. And... Yeah. Well, actually, like, it, like, and through art, actually, like, purposely use the uncanny valley yeah. to kind of fuck with the audience in horror. It's not a bad idea. I, I'm trying to think if I've ever seen anyone do that before. And I Somebody think, must have done it. It's, I mean, it seems like too good of an idea for any for that to just not have happened. Yeah, it seems like right. too obvious an idea. At the too. same time, I can't think. I can't of, think of, of anything. Any examples. Though. I mean, hey, good ideas, you, you know, seem seem obvious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you hear them, so. Goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. <laughs> and is that what yeah, you're Spartan, you dude. Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. Do you think if, when, if when Atreus was a baby, if he was, like, too sickly, Kratos would have thrown him off a mountain? Uh, no, actually, it's canon, uh, I believe, that, and because it, it wasn't in the games themselves, but it was in, like, a tie-in, like, it was in the like, comic, or, you know, oh, one of those, one of those right. extra pieces of media, um, that, uh, Kratos actually broke Spartan law to oh. keep Calliope, uh, alive, mm -hmm. and to, like, to keep his daughter, um, like, when marching with the Spartan army. Uh, so he actually totally defied the rules of his society. Well, that's good. Fuck mm -hmm. For his daughter. Um, it's one of the reasons I always hated 300 is, is it tries to per, uh, portray the Spartans as these heroic uh, freedom fighters when it's like they had one of the most monstrous societies in the Yeah, world. yeah, I know. That's that's yeah, that's a big problem with that movie. One of many. One of many. Yeah. 
I always thought it was interesting how, like, the Spartans, I mean, they were, like, this warrior culture and everything like that, but it was also, they were so paranoid to go to war and leave their society because they had so many slaves that if there weren't enough people in Sparta to keep the slaves down, then they were always terrified of them rebelling against them. And they always treated the slaves so harshly that the slaves right. were pretty much permanently on the cusp of rebellion. Right. Is that a It's long how you grown uh, uh yeah <laughs> well you follow me <laughs> rock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night and i believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that we're still your favorite dwarves right you're still the only dwarf we know i'll take it I made like a termite mount for you. Oh, it's one of those. <laughs> you yes, guys made us a use under these rocks. Wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> even cover them. <laughs> oh shit, we survived Fimble Winter already? Well, I mean, the chapter. I know, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was a pretty short Fimble Winter. <laughs> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some runes till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. Sindri, you gotta run less weird, dude. <laughs> he's... he's foppish. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we've said That's the most polite way to describe him. <laughs> it's nothing much, but it's safe Here's your new home base. Oh, sweet. Living in a tree. Cool, uh, it's uh, in the realm between realms, the... the way, like, Yggdrasil <laughs> actually is. Okay. It's literally a tree, like a tree house in Yggdrasil. This is a pretty cool Airbnb you got here, <laughs> Sindri. Come in. Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not going to wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. The bedrooms are there. The kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. <laughs> <laughs> Alive? I mean, that's... It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son disobeying me. No, I I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. <laughs> Nothing risky. Everything <laughs> very safe. I do not <laughs> need a snack. <laughs> I do not need a <laughs> snack. <laughs> that is that has gotta be one of the most skillful things about the writing in, in this these newer games is that they managed to make Kratos funny. Yeah. The right. way they have. <laughs> Well, to be frank, there was something we needed your help with. Yeah, they really did have money feed. The Holder Brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Not so fast. I don't think the this feed. What the hell is he? What the fuck? son. What? All yarns be the happen to him. <laughs> He's too damn tall now. He looks like that. Ah, Brock is great. He's just getting older, you dark flat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey, yes. I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. Alright, <laughs> you fuckers up before you go off gala. <laughs> no, they, they really have managed to create, like, a, just a really great, like, cast. series. Yes, cast of characters. Yep. Which is funny, because, yeah, in, like, the originals, it's Kratos and then Anubis. Kind of yeah. yeah, right. Like, Athena's an ally throughout all pretty much all three games. Um, she's kind of the only one. <laughs> How about I fix you up with something to get you by? You chill with Hephaestus for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he turns on you. Yep. Yeah, there's, there's a few times. I mean, like, the casts of characters, I think, are great in the other games. It's just that you're killing all of them. Yeah, they're, they're antagonists, not actual <laughs> side characters. Yeah. ...to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. That shield looks tiny and pathetic. That's pretty what, cool. Well, that one, it's uh, it's less protection, but better parries, uh, the small one. That's probably worth it for me. I like parrying. Okay. 
<coughs> if the kids are gonna insist on getting taller, <coughs> best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Kratos not buying his child, or, well, not buying, but not, like, providing clothes for... <laughs> oh, let's get that fortified husk girdle, dude. <laughs> yeah, you gotta fortify your husk, dude. You guys, you guys, you guys don't like unfortified husks? <laughs> no, man, I think that's, that's unsightly. Yeah. You're husk shaming? I am, I am. Brace you dirty husker. Dirty husker. Oh that's also nice if you like don't pick up like if you like there's hacks over you don't pick up or, like, mm -hmm. like stuff that you find and like just don't quite grab no okay. it'll just show up here oh nice wow a thank you from kratos Brock. yeah that is development right there for blacksmith brock was the first ally we encountered when we set up for the mountain's peak he and his brother Sindri made the leviathan axe for fey and this has been our common bond brock is blunt with the foul tongue but there is wisdom in his bluster i find him acceptable <laughs> kratos actually <laughs> likes brock <laughs> that doesn't surprise me yeah they, they fit together mm -hmm. i think he, he had something you could oh okay my bad he had something what oh that was just to say treating everyone's as your Vulgarian. The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. <laughs> the little character interactions are great. Wait, those stairs will not support you. Please don't break my house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Kratos is just going to eat all of it, isn't he? <laughs> he doesn't need a snack, dude. I do not need a snack. <laughs> no, he needs a meal. Right. Finding everything all right, I hope. All right, what are you looking at, dude? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. <laughs> so, where exactly is Tyr being held? It is interesting, you're right. It's kind of like uh, Kratos has a family of sorts now. Yeah. I think he tolerates Sindri. Mm, yeah. But he likes Brock. Yeah, what do you say about Sindri? Where's my... Yeah, yeah, let's check the, the, the thing. Codex is the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friends. Yeah. Our journey to Jotunheim since you proved himself a capable blacksmith, valuable ally. Now he's been helping Atreus in a search for Tyr. I am unhappy this was done without my knowledge, though it is better Atreus was not alone. I will attempt to spare the dwarf by wrath. It may not be easy. <laughs> you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours. Sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Well, dwarves, huh? We're going to their... Are we going to get seven dwarves by the end of this game? <laughs> No, I don't think they'll Go quite. see some, like, OSHA regulator in Svartalheim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we determined it was the, PC dimen uh, the, the BP dimension. That's mm. true. Like exactly well, okay. BP doesn't have inspectors. <laughs> well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. What is BP doing these days? Oh, Karen Pelicans. <laughs> yeah, it's got, like, do they got any more spills going on? I don't know. Isn't isn't England seems like they're pretty determined to get out of the oil game, so maybe BP won't exist pretty soon. They'll look but over then, the side. Then who's gonna spill all our oil? That's a good question. Can we jump? Those some kind no. of dragons? Wait, what? They're so far. I, can't I don't tell see how them. Big they are. Exxon can uh, still destroy. Oh, yeah. I think. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, that's true. We can always, we can always dig up the Exxon Valdez and not patch up the hole and have it sail around a bit more. Yeah. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, uh, do I control this thing somehow then? Hey, they took my suggestion. No, 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 they put them on a little cart. Hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, <laughs> Your 
Doesn't even do anything. They just wanted to do this. Come on. <laughs> Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release. Still no us, Blazin. <laughs> That's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming. I'm coming. Russell got it, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. <laughs> yeah, this looks like the least effective thing you could possibly do. Just hammer on the door. <laughs> See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Get us! Throw me at him! Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> Interesting. I think it would be funny if Kratos was just wheeling that little cart around for the that, entire game. That would game. be hilarious. <laughs> Or if he was slowly creaking though. around behind us. Now that we reconfigured these gateways <laughs> to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. So we're is a completely different system. That realm tower from the last yeah. game, we're not using that at all. Wow. Just hmm. Well, also the lake is just frozen over because of the belligerent. Uh, so you couldn't even turn the thing if you didn't want it to. Uh, Kratos could break through that Well, shit. I mean, yeah, he could probably break the ice. But this is still a much easier solution. Now so it's just these doors. Fast okay. travel doors. Right. We'll slowly unlock all of all nine realms. Yeah, it's like we're going to Narnia. <laughs> That's one of the nine realms, isn't it? Yeah, Narnia is not one of the nine <laughs> realms of Norse mythology. Right? Yeah, it is because they invented lion Jesus. <laughs> Jesus was a lion, dude. Yeah. Yeah. He invented Narnia, actually. Did Jesus lion did? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, the more you know. I mean, you see it happen in the book, right? In the, the, the weird ass prequel book. You just, like see it come uh, into existence. Yeah, you see uh, the lion just kind of standing there, like uh, sort of willing the, the universe world. Like, yeah, they watch it I, I read Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. I don't know if I ever read any more of those. To be honest, most books. of the books in that series are pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I think those books are actually very good. Even if I'm not a big fan of all the Jesus y stuff. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not either, but like, they, they still tell a good story. Mm. Yeah, and it's, it's implied that he made many worlds in the, in that universe. Everything. Yeah. Not just Narnia. Right, right. That was just kind of the main one we focus on, but... We can probably use his boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. What the hell is that? Oh, are those those little salamander things? Little no, garbage yeah. creatures. We, those weren't actually in the last game. Those are new. Oh, are they? I thought yeah. there was a similar looking creature. Uh, there was they were bigger, bigger, but they were a lot bigger. Yeah, they were a lot yeah. bigger. Are these like the baby versions? No, no, these are unique little. Now yeah, these are actually like little like this, salamander. Are these things. things worth killing? Like, I mean, you, no, you have to. Okay. Yeah. This is like the Dude, fucking just... iguana infestation in Florida. <laughs> Send Kratos down to Florida. <laughs> I day that Kratos is the Florida man in the newspaper. <laughs> it was a great day. To be honest, I don't even know if Kratos could solve the iguana infestation. It was a now. great. Uh, it would take it was a great, minute, uh, animation if you uh, hold the trigger and then R one those things. Was he chuck them? It's, it's just, next time they show up, right. uh, you'll see it. There's just a really great. Mm hmm. Okay. Alright, let's go, dude. We're back on the boat. On the boat again? Sure, we don't need a bigger boat? It's just them. Yeah. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have <laughs> that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. <laughs> yeah, they seem like they were the kind of couple that had an understanding. Yeah, I mean, Kratos, she knew what Kratos did in Greece. Like she, he did tell her about that. Ask mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, "Woman, guard the house. Go to catch fish in the river for five days." <laughs> Your mother was far better at fishing than I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ran over those barrels. Oh, yeah. Just for some reason, there's money in them. 
Sure, why not? Got to keep your cryptocurrency somewhere. Yeah, right. I like to keep it spark plug. <laughs> as long as it's not on the exchange. My my never <laughs> delir uh, crypto wallet. <laughs> That'd be a good uh, version of like crypto land. Oh God, I man, I, I I was thinking about that those fucking that in, that infomercial I guess you showed us <laughs> yeah. about that the other day and I just meant like it, I recalled it as though some sort of like nightmare and I couldn't quite recall if it was if it just, really happened or not oh man it's so dangerous to let stupid people have money well also just the animation in that was that yeah, was, was just truly awful. uncanny yeah. oh yeah that <laughs> was like, terrible dude I mean think about it though some people were convinced to invest money into those types of things by yeah. That. yeah well I mean and then it turns out that it's just ten guys having orgies. <laughs> hey, it wasn't all guys, dude. There's no. that one really weird, squirrely-looking chick. Squirrely as in she looked like she was kind of like squirrel, like physical yeah, elements. Yeah, go, go or ahead and, mean, go just ahead like, and like she Google. would be the first one to run away with the money. <laughs> no, well, I mean, I'm sure she she did some interview where she talked about how her investing strategy. That. Her investing strategy didn't really involve math. And I was like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? How did you possibly not use math when deciding what to invest in? <laughs> she just hoards them for the winter. Yeah. But you can look she her up. She didn't hoard a lot of Her investing strategy is putting yeah. the nuts in trees. No, her investment strategy is putting the nuts in other nuts. Oh, okay. Google that FTX girl and tell me she doesn't look like a squirrel. Then well, Google FTX girl. Like probably. <laughs> probably. Her her she would probably girl? I don't remember her name. I don't know, FTX staff, I guess. That would oh, she all... does have a little bit of a squirrel face. Wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you were right. Squir squirrely person. Yeah, yeah she's got a, it's a, it's a bit of a, yeah, she looks like she'd be hoarding for winter. But yeah, and then and then you see that, dude. I mean, just imagine how hideous that orgy must have been. <laughs> 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 I mean, but yeah, apparently it was like a deck tuple or whatever. Like, it was just ten people, and they were all just fucking each other. And like, huh. I feel like, like there's probably at least one Uggo at every orgy, right? Like, but what do, you, what do you do if there's an, like all Uggos in the orgy? You don't go. <laughs> <laughs> what it if, would suck what like if cool. it's your job? <laughs> What it's if, an orgy for work, dude. Yeah, like, <laughs> <if> you're <laughs> the one like, normal-looking dude. It's single. <laughs> you're the one normal-looking dude at the Uggo orgy, you know? <laughs> I mean, again, I just, why would you go? Because they'd be all over you, right? So, so what am I right, which is what I would think. Freeze a guy, okay, so L2 plus R1, okay. Maybe aim it at the water? Like below? Oh, yeah, maybe. Okay. Gotcha. Don't walk on the ice, I guess. <laughs> Well, Alex, you've been to enough no orgies. How does that feel? Yeah, what's one of the you like the like? only like human in a, a no orgy? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Is there always like an ugly no? <laughs> <laughs> what qualifies as an ugly no? I don't know. What qualifies? As what, what's the, what's the, what are the attractive and unattractive known attributes? Yeah. What makes, what's, what's the, the, well, like, when do you see ugly, a no when you're like, oh, I'm taking that home? They're all me. ugly, dude. What are you talking about? Well, there must be some gnomes that you're more interested in than others. I'm yeah. interested in exactly zero of them in exactly the same way. <laughs> monkeys? They're like, kind of lizard. Lizard things. monkeys? Lizard monkeys. Uh, Is this what lizard people evolved from? Aardvark people. <laughs> this, yeah, the lizard people evolved from their own weird lizard monkey ancestry. <laughs> We found the missing link. You know, there actually were uh, prehistoric creatures called monkey lizards. What? Yeah. They didn't look like this, though, but they were like um, tree living lizard things that uh, are uh, suspected to you possibly really be the ancestors annoying. of pterosaurs. Oh, okay. These things are annoying, dude. <laughs> it just Bad. fucking goes limp. It's like somebody like flicked over like a, like a fucking like action figure. <laughs> that is what it looks like. Okay. Watch your left. 
It'll be interesting to see what the political fallout of this FTX thing is. Because that dude said that he was, in 2024, he was ready to donate uh, up to a billion dollars to get Biden reelected. The and, uh, you got? Yeah, and now he doesn't have a billion dollars. <laughs> so, oh, I mean, if the only reason Biden got elected is because of Orgy having billionaires. Well, I don't think. I don't I, think. I suspect that wasn't the case, but you never know. But he was the second largest, single second largest donor to the Democratic Party. Wow, really? Yeah. And this was at, whole, the only George operation Soros. that this billionaire could run was a fucking ten man. Like sex party in the Bahamas? Well, no, I mean, like he Sorry, obviously man, ran. He ran the exchange. He just like did a really bad job of it, <laughs> <laughs> and then stole all the money to fund his orgy. Well, he stole all the money to give to that squirrely chick who was running uh, a uh, trading platform. Right, so right. he gave he gave her all the customers money who thought they were storing it like in a bank uh -huh. account. Then he was taking that money. Her name wouldn't have happened to been Scrat, was it? I don't think so. <laughs> I couldn't tell you for sure. But yeah, it's been a pretty interesting saga to watch play out. Because it sounds like it was a really weird situation they had going on. Honestly, it sounds like the plot of some sort of weird sitcom or something. But like, I mean, they had they got a ton of money, dude. Like, I mean, they had Billy. He was like uh, one of the youngest billionaires or something like that. Weird. I don't know. I need to get some health or something. I'm not doing so well in this monkey man fight. God damn it, Sage. Fight these monkeys. Right, I'll fight them. They're lizard monkeys. Okay, yeah. whatever. If you're respecting, you know, the, the proper <laughs> titles, okay. then maybe they'd let you win. But yeah, no, so he was, he was taking the money from the people's account. Basically, he he was saying he had all this money in reserve. So he's taking, like, people would put, like, Bitcoin on his exchange. Uh -huh. And then he would backdoor that Bitcoin to the uh, trading, like, house that he also owned that was run by that squirrel chick. Um, right. And then she... Because she didn't use math to make investing decisions, what obviously called, like, lost a lot of them. Or it's called Acorn Investment. <laughs> it was called Almeida Research or something like okay. that. But yeah, but like because she wasn't using math, um, she lost the money. Because <laughs> I don't understand. Well, like, how could you be an investment banker? Like, <laughs> I don't like, use math. Like, I don't use math when making my investment decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, again, man, I, I think she just thinks an investment is keeping something, like, for winter time. <laughs> I guess. Either way, she lost a lot of money. Um, and then and then what ended up happening was that guy went around and started begging some of the other exchanges to provide liquidity because what he was doing was he was saying, my company's worth this much, but actually it was only worth that much because they held a ton of this token that they owned. Like, they made this token, and they're like, this token is worth a lot of money. But it was only worth money because they said it was worth money. So when they tried to give uh, the head of another exchange some of that token, he was like, well, that's fucking worthless. Like, I don't <laughs> want that. And then he went and told everybody that uh, their 90% of their company's value was in. Here, you can just play. Yes? Yeah. yeah. All right. To see you. We're almost done uh, here too. With so the stream, yeah. See what see what little progress I can oh, catch I just us got... through. <sighs> you know what time is it? Like like nine. Nine about nine oh seven. Okay. Yeah, like twenty more minutes. See how far we can get. Yeah. 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 But uh, I mean, it's a hell of an opening, man. Yeah, hell yeah, it is. Like we've already done a lot. I feel in just a very short amount of time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this, this Sam Bankman Freed guy, the guy who ran that exchange, he's, uh, he has friends in high places, man, because the New York Times tried to make it sound like he just made, like, a simple mistake. Even <laughs> all these people, he lost billions of dollars in customer money. They were like, well, you know, like, <laughs> it happens. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spotify. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. 
Think you can reach the wheel from here? Do you think that's the future, Sage, where everybody in a company is just in a relationship with each other? Probably not in a normal company. <laughs> I don't think that's ever gonna like take off in a super successful Are way. Are you sure? I think this happened you don't because think it was everybody, weird rich people. You don't think everybody at IBM is just gonna start fucking each other? I, frankly, no, I don't. <laughs> I just feel like they might have just been ahead of their time, you know? Do you want to read this? It's a whole bunch of <laughs> whole bunch of lore and text. We can skip this. Mm, yeah, we don't it's have fine. To read through all, okay. all that stuff. How are we supposed to know about Pridemar? I mean, that's like it's more in depth north of solid. We, I mean, if we want to read it, we can go like full completionist, but it'll yeah. take us a long time. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to do a completionist. <laughs> I don't know if anybody really tunes in to watch us go, and then Odin sent this guy. I think guy. Control is one of the only games where I would actually read mm -hmm. all that, all the documents What'd and stuff get? on stream. It's an apple. The fruit to eat yourself. Oh, yeah. it's for the max. Because you know in Norse mythology, the gods aren't even actually immortal if they don't eat that yeah. uh, mm -hmm. egg fruit. Really itchy spider thing. Right. The same uh, fruits that were in uh, Jotun as well. Yep, yep. There you go. I'm just thinking, is it so warm? Maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfon? I lied. Thimble winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble winter. Doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear. So it's also cool. I like that. That it's like it's not the mm -hmm. same thing in all places. That's a puzzle. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Oh, yeah. Don't yeah. go get that thing. Yeah, it doesn't look good. <laughs> No, it's helpful. Is it? Yeah. It's chaos. From Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> How is Sonic Frontiers? Uh, I mean, it looks like a fucking hot mess to me. But, uh, <laughs> well, that's why I'm mean, curious. I mean, you, you know what? Because you know what it should have been called: Sonic and the Unreal Engine Five Premium Assets. <laughs> <laughs> God, Frontier is such a, a bad subtitle for a Sonic game. Honestly, this makes me think of... <laughs> is it, like, cowboy thing? That's what it makes me think of. Yeah. It's just open world. It's like, it's just trying to rip off Breath of the Wild for Zelda. Oh. That yeah. doesn't sound like it would work very well for a Sonic no. game. You know, it's a giant empty world with, like, a few things here and there. It looks... Yeah, it, it looks bad. It looks terrible. I mean, Sonic games always look fucking bad, oh, yeah. man. Like, the, the fucking Sonic Mania, the one made by fans, literally, was the only good one in, like, 30 fucking years at this point. Well, don't worry, in another 30 years, they might have another decent one. Just more fans might make one. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the first thing I thought of when I heard the Sonic Frontiers is that it would be a town builder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like a Sim City thing. Yeah, yeah. That'd be interesting, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how that would work. I don't know why it would need to be a Sonic game, but. But it would make as much sense as any Sonic game at this yeah. point. I mean, yeah. I mean, last one was just build your own fur furry simulator. So then Sonic grabs your fur suit by the hand and, and you fly around together. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> that really was a thing in that game. Ah, uh, God. Now I suppose they know who still likes Sonic. They do. <laughs> I mean, well, we've seen the sorts of people who go to those Sonic, Sonic anniversary things. Or I think that people don't even actually like the Sonic games, but they play them because they... Of the sexual because satisfaction. Of the because and of the so first they put up with their... I think they... Even those people, I don't think, though, don't even think those games are actually good. They're just so into the fetish part that they, like, play them anyway. That's sad. Hey, we got Yoshino. What's hey, up, Yoshino? What's up, Yoshino? Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. How you doing tonight? I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. There we go. 
Just woke up. Hopefully well rested. Because you're now on the same continent as me, I'm not sure if it's late. Yeah, I'm earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he's over in what, Wales? What yeah. Uh, I don't, it's I like don't eight know hours. Isn't it eight hour difference? I think it is, so it might be eight morning. So it's like one o'clock or something? Eight what? hours from now is not oh. one o'clock. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. What? Yeah. Trying to fix passed out at 4 p.m. until 3 a.m. Wow, that is a hell of a sleep. Wow. Oh, hey, look. Trump announced he's running for president. Wow. Who what a big surprise. Who saw that coming? <laughs> Never would have thought, you know. I mean, his big announcement could have been anything. <laughs> could have been. Well, I mean, Biden's going to make a big announcement that he is president. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo, I just found out. <laughs> I like the big announcement he made where he said, because the midterms didn't go badly, we're not going to change anything. <laughs> well, yeah, you hear that? Yeah. And since we didn't lose, we're going to do literally nothing different. That's the Democrat way. Yes, it is. Whatever people are willing to tolerate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got fat lizard monkeys now. Nice. That bar finally. So that's how it works when you get fat. Uh, he looks like a, that's like a battle toad right there, dude. A battle toad. <laughs> God of War, battle toad. <laughs> you can't tell me that thing don't look like a battle toad. No, you're right. It kind of does. <laughs> you're telling me that if I get fat enough, I too could be a battle toad? No, you got to call GameStop first and ask if they have one. <laughs> God, do you, you have no idea what it was like to work at GameStop at a time that they had an advertisement that said, please call us if you want one of the battle tests. <laughs> Dude, Wait, not, they no, actually they put out the ad? Okay, because I remember, I remember how angry no, 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 no. the employees at... No, 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 that's the thing. <laughs> Yeah. That the the part where it was like an obnoxious thing that all the employees fucking hated happened yeah. first. <laughs> then they the corporation it? said, oh, God. "Hey, we're gonna encourage people to do it <laughs> even more." Because <laughs> I remember that people at GameStop were furious about how often people were calling and asking for battle totes. <laughs> Did not realize that uh, GameStop decided to encourage people to do that. <laughs> yeah, no, they didn't. They yeah, asked specifically because. How many battle toads did you? Were you personally involved in? A... Yeah, you didn't I work there never... until after that was a thing, right? Uh, I think that was a thing, but. Oh, okay. uh, Are us twits doing? I guess we're uh, we're twitting. Yeah, we're twitting, yeah. twitting away. You know. I know, I'm doing pretty good. Doing better than the twits on Twitter who all lost their jobs. Um, they were called I don't twerps, feel bad for them, actually. To be they, were what? What? they were called twerps, twerps. actually. <laughs> no, a uh, tweet. Really? Tweets. Tweets. The employees at Twitter That's are great. called tweets. Wow, the that the is employees at Twitter are called tweets. That Why? Was, uh, I don't know. That's the name they came up with them. So that that's like. That, that, that it was, it was funny. It was so funny reading some of the corporate letters that were coming out because people were concerned about Musk taking over or whatever. Uh -huh. And they were like, they were like, I know some of our tweets are concerning. <laughs> like, that really does sound shitty. That, yeah, that, that sounds like a slur, to be honest. I don't know, that's what that's what they're called. It's definitely that's demoralizing. What... <laughs> yeah. Did you see? So, increase. did you see that uh, Elon Musk isn't giving the people at Twitter free lunch anymore? Um, and then people were trying to claim that he was starving his employees because he wasn't giving because them they free they food weren't giving free food anymore. And it's like I think you know, the like, people at Twitter are fucking whiny babies. <laughs> well, I don't. I mean, whatever. A lot of the tech companies give away food, but the idea that if you weren't providing free lunch, you were starving your employees. Like most jobs like, don't provide free lunch. You stuck up motherfuckers. Yeah, like, I, I, <laughs> like I don't give free lunch at my job. Well, that's yeah. sort of the way it always. Sometimes goes. we do. Like maybe yeah, like once maybe, a month. Or something, or, yeah, but never, never like, oh, just go get lunch every day. <laughs> oh, so this is that guy we're going to see no, that wrote that. this. Uh, Careful traveler, this road leads to Nidavellir, sure, uh, uh, but so too does it lead to dangers beyond mention. If you give a damn about your own safety, you'll find an alternate route to the City of Iron. Should you succeed, find me so I can spread the word of whichever route you took that didn't end with you getting your skin peeled off your body by something hungry and pissed off. I think that's everything here. I'd do the charity thing for all money made during November because I didn't raise anything Saturday. Oh yeah. Oh okay. What uh, what charity were you raising money for? I'm 
think about starting a charity for like um like orphaned babies um to like okay. help like like find women that would breastfeed you know like babies that not a not wheelchair, a wheelchair? Nice. i don't know that charity it seems Atreus, you intend to recruit tear as an ally for war i just but like i'm trying to keep our options open like a charity that uh, helps like uh babies that need uh like women who can breastfeed an extra baby or whatever you right. know i'm gonna call it tits for tots <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah need to is actually the name of the realm bob uh, by the dwarves. That 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 one is like the uh, that might even be one of the ones that still was not in the big. last game. Not still, as big. that's still oh, a different okay. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Serious creature rumor tells me it was bored of an ember that escaped Surtur's hammer as he worked his forge. The steward of Muspelheim used his bellows to breathe life into the ember. His first act of existence was to steal and consume the precious metals the smith had been using to forge a weapon. The rumor tried to tell me Surtur found this amusing. Were I Surtur, I would not be abused. Oh, yeah. they're cute. Like, like I was just like, oh, it's trying to get away. Quick, get behind it and kill it from <laughs> from there. They're like fiery reptilian cats. Yeah. Father, up there. Yeah. Well, go. A little bit more. You guys don't like my tits for tots journey. Be another I don't think it'll be very successful. I mean, I'd wear yeah. Make a uh, accessible wheelchair that are fractional of the price. They make rings that can traverse rocky paths and grass. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's really cool. And changeable wheels dude. to traverse sand. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's nice. awesome. Can they make a wheelchair of tank treads? That would be kind of cool. I don't know. Would that be know, useful? Would, like, or? That, I don't know <laughs> what it would do for you. Well, I mean, what if it you got to look cool visually? What if you got to cross like a, like a muddy field, you know? What if it was been really, really wet out recently? Eh, I mean, I suppose. This, this place is, a, it could, it could be useful. Right. Oh, they could clean the walls too. Yeah, my <laughs> life, man, man. All right, the physics of this are a bit goofy sometimes. That makes me the French. <laughs> Him in half. I like how see these things are relatively goofy looking compared to some of the other enemies in the game. But we're still fucking like chopping them to pieces. Oh, yeah. Nice. They kind of some of the like... creatures are a little goofy looking <laughs> even in the original games. They kind of look like the geckos from the Fallout games, actually. Think you can uncover the I can see that. Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the guys, the pressure will turn the wheel. Hmm. Can you see anything from that block? There's another poem. Oh, no. The first poem. Do you want to read the poetry? Sure. Yeah, Imagine, dear reader, if you so dare, creatures of metal that screech through the air, that swim through the seas, that bound across the land, but are brought to their knees by a warrior's hand, her origins hidden, her hair red as blood, finding places forbidden, buried under the mud. But who is <laughs> this you young trying? girl? Who is more <laughs> than she seemeth? That's not a word. <laughs> who is it more than she so seemeth? Who will rescue her people and slay these behemoths? Oh, that was a tortured crime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, that was. There, there's there's talking force of, in that one. Talking about Faye, obviously. What a shitty poet. No, that was actually no. referencing the other PlayStation game, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh. Was it really? Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, no, uh, every one of those poems is like a, a, like referencing another day at all together. Oh, weird. God, the sequel to that song. 
The first one sucks. Like <laughs> well, I have to the give him credit worse. for finding a... The story is dumber in the sequel, yeah. I have to give him credit for finding a rhyme for Behemoth, but... Uh... They made one up. They did not find a rhyme <laughs> for Behemoth. They couldn't find one, and so they decided to force they one. They failed miserably. <laughs> That's the thing they did the worst. Okay, yeah. well, what rhymes with behemoth? You not behemoth. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm not saying I have a good one. I'm just saying that I'm... I, I maybe just find a different word. Yeah. I'm sure there's something. That rhymes with behemoth? There's yeah. got to be synonyms for behemoth that you can rhyme with. Yeah, that's for sure. It's unlikely. All I can think of are other things that are definitely not words. Yeah. They're just kind of based off that rhyme, like a demoth. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Look at that! It's an actual dwarf village. Nice. Sick. Are we gonna burn it? Well. Hey, dwarves! They got Chick-fil-A here? <laughs> what the dwarfs? Why not? <laughs> they have those little dwarf house Chick-fil-A's. I showed you those, didn't I? That's true. They, that's what they look like. Oh, is this like <laughs> that, that that weird little village that they got in China? That's that tourist trap place where they put all the little people? <laughs> oh, we're, with War, we're, uh, with Warwick we're, Davis. We're, we're, super we're, yeah, Carl yeah. Pilkington brought Warwick Davis. He's like, they have a king! <laughs> 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 that king. <laughs> Sound of the alarm. They do not like that we're here. So we are going to burn the village. We're not, we're not going to burn the village. Well, then why are they sounding the a, alarm? Is it an option? Oh, they don't, they don't also, know that we're not going to burn the village. What is that? Is that an air raid siren? Yeah, that's what I was going to yeah. ask. Are fucking Stukas coming? Like, what is this? <laughs> hey, it's just a warning bell. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. And hope they let us in. It's a good little. A good it is a very is cool a looking moment? environment. Really oh, for you. Is that chicken? Can we take it. One last the ravens from the that were in the first game. Nice. Sage, what we needed this chicken. What? I don't know what chicken you're talking. We about. passed a chicken. It was important to the plot. I don't think it was. Then why else would they put a chicken in this game? <laughs> What, what game has chickens have? What game have you played where chickens are important? To the uh, in Ocarina of Time, you could actually use important them to, to glide. The you could use them to glide. There were times See? you kind of needed them to glide, dude. See? All right, fine. That chicken was gonna help you, man. Yeah. No, you I don't, don't have think the, it was. No, you don't have that chicken. You're not gonna be able to feed Odin. Then they'd have mouths. You know that chickens are the polar opposite of crows, right? Disgusting mouth. That's, yeah. So if you throw a chicken at one of Odin's crows, it'd be like matter and antimatter. They both blow just up. explode. Yeah. That's how you defeat Odin. Well, we're long overdue for a replacement. <laughs> I, thought he's, I thought he was about to just break it. Certain material. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something. Uh. I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. We did say be? Sonic. <laughs> Whoa! Patience. I find it's Kratos, now Kratos murdering Sonic. I was about to say I want to see that. I yeah. would absolutely enjoy watching. They should just set an entire God of War in the Sonic universe where you just, just murder every single one of them. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be, like, psychologically satisfying. <laughs> yeah, it would, dude. Say, Skiafa. So I think it would be more fun for, uh, for Kratos to take down uh, fucking Shadow the Hedgehog. That's true, actually, Shadow. Ultimate power. <laughs> It's a really satisfying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just squish him. So what you do to your cat? What? <laughs> Why would you do that to your cat? Yeah. That's Why would you? It's not very it nice, it. Sage. Because you keep going through cats. I'm not going through <laughs> cats. <laughs> I wouldn't really be able to tell if you were. Exactly. Oh, God. It has been. An entire year. Do I so that you've been going through cats, so we know. Filthy tavern. The sewer you just punched the hole through seems promising, though. 
for you. <laughs> it should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Right. We yeah. can't just punch through the doors. These dwarves got some tough locks. I mean, I think I think Kratos just isn't like on a rampage. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe if you if you taught these dwarves a lesson, they'd be more friendly. Any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an organism if I ever had one. There you go. And then uh, we'll stop here, and next time we're crawling in the sewers. Sweet. Every video game has to have a sewer level. Sure. Oh, you want me to read this one, Sage? You want to? Yeah, come on, put some put some uh, some spice into it. Being a fictional poem by Cavassier, master of all poets. The armies assembled, thine warriors strong, well rested and fed, for the yes, war would be yes, long. Yes. The orb in the air and branches in hand to swing a collision. The spectators stand for nine nights and nine days. They fight without rest, running, then waiting to prove themselves best. Until finally, mercifully, the army does rout. One army triumphant, the other struck out. These are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not. They're not. So what game is this, Fall Guys? MLB The Show. Oh. With uh, the baseball. So yeah. cool, dude. Well, I did feel yeah. like struck out was a really weird way to phrase that. So yeah. I, okay. No, it's, it's, uh... Man, that'd be pretty boring if you go into some fantasy world and they're just writing poems about fucking Major League Baseball. <laughs> Sounds boring as fuck. I mean, baseball's already fucking boring. It is. Oh, it is. My when least, are we going to get the upgrade to Blurren's Ball? <laughs> when is Blurren's Ball going to happen? Watch. Don't know, dude. Alright. There we go. Alright. Well. I guess doesn't we'll... even look like it had, I, there's not enough people here to for, I don't think for it to be worth the rating. Yeah. It's like two or three, I think we're Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. All right, well, cool. there we go. Alright. And uh next week we will not be streaming. I'm not doing it. it's not his birthday, so sure. uh, uh, we'll be skipping that, but uh that so two weeks we'll be picking back up. Sweet. Alright, well have a good night, people. Yep, have a good night.